Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to our next session of Returning Power. Guess what? I'm wearing clothes today. That means... Ah! I can have a camera. Joy. Alright, I will not music bomb them. Moving as normal. Greetings, warrior. nerds. Hello, hello. Wow. Well, yeah, I think we just introduced him a little bit. Hello. I have a music. Oh my god, face cam today? Yeah, and I'm wearing clothes. God Normally, I don't have to wear clothes because we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting sushi later, so it's okay. Spicy. Wow, you can't just say that to me. Sushi for my birthday. Bur birthday oh my sushi. Damn. I bet you're aspirating birthday sushi. Is there better sushi than birthday sushi? Did I say sushi any more times? Yeah. Probably, let's find out. Sushi? Sushi? Sushi, 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 sushi. sushi. <laughs> oh no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't she do it. Shishu. She sells sushi by the seashore. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, where else would you sell sushi, let's be honest? Well, apparently uh, in Texas. In a city, because poor old uh, non-ocean people can't get sushi off. Non-ocean people? Yeah. So judgmental. This, what? This poor non-ocean folk. Fun fact. What? I'm jealous. I haven't been to the beach in forever. Before Japan opened its borders, it only traded with the Netherlands because we also ate raw fish. Excellent. Hmm. And then we're like, yo, give us that uh, weeb shit, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. We're like, no, yeah, I need my I crack. Think that's why in uh, Samurai Champloo, I think, one of the uh, the background characters is Dutch. Oh, oh yeah. Holy shit. That's an interesting point. Because they were the only ones allowed in Japan at that point in time. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't think uh, that was historical. That's a neat detail. Yeah, that's super yeah. cool. I did not know that at all. Yeah, he's sitting in the background going, The brutally tight! <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. I love stuff like that. Especially when you see a character like, Why are they here? Like, this doesn't make any sense. It's like, ah, no, this is actually historically accurate. It's like, oh, do tell! Give me your lore, world. Things that actually happened. <laughs> oh my god. Actual IRLs. Alright, anyway. Uh, did, did we skip last week? I, I don't think we did, did we? Yes, I want to say we did. We did, yeah. We did, yeah, yeah, week, we did. We did uh, something else, I think. Yeah, I think we were so. just okay. discussing other systems. Ah, yeah, through that. Alright, well. Then. <laughs> do you guys remember exactly where we left off? I think I heard you guys discussing it. Yeah, uh, I think we are going to... Uh... Tell everyone about Drew. Correct. Yeah. Uh, you guys sold most yeah. of your stuff. You were going to basically show Drew off to the rest of the town. Um, you guys obviously already ate. You rested. Uh, we ended slightly early because uh, she wasn't present. So he still has his stuff on him. Um, technically, you still have uh, Drax's head, his helmet, helmet, his armor, and his halberd. So, um, I don't know where the head is, Kakashi. That is up to you. I don't know if you left it in your room. You left it outside. Uh, I'll let you make that call, of course. I have no clue, to be honest. All right. Well, you're the master of the head, so I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Probably in my room on the wall. It's a good place for a head. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mounted it. He stored it where it's put. Yeah, after very lines. nice. Hmm. 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 I'm trying to think. I, I think I have an asset for that. Uh, uh, you want to head? Actually, uh, was he head? Was he He, yes. He's he's uh, more lizard looking, though. He was a... Uh, yeah. Mm, triceratops esque looking. He's more dino. Dino DNA. Dino DNA. All right. Anyway, on that note, we'll cut dino back to the scene. Dino my. Uh, come back to the scene where you effectively invited everybody. Uh, primarily Parto, uh, Tranquil, and uh, I believe Kiara. Did you drag Noth along with you, or I think you did. Yeah, I, I probably yeah. did. More sense. We'll put through. Alright, so you brought everybody here basically to say uh, hello to this ancient figure. And I'll leave the scene to you all. Well, like awkwardly that. stare at each other. Uh, I mean, I can't really remember where, what I was going to say. I, yeah, I don't remember exactly. I don't think you guys were saying anything in particular. I more so think it was a... I, th I think it was going to be more of a, like, uh, so Saharito, uh, you mentioned uh, remembering the name Drew. Yeah, I saw so I, 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 the stories. 
yeah, I, I believe you mentioned uh, you mentioned that too, Saharto, and he was kind of like, mm, what? Go on, do tell. Um, and I think you just basically told. Noth is a historian too, right? So he knows yeah. the yes. name. Yes. Yeah, so you guys I'm told Noth to and Tranquil. Tranquil if he knows it. Right. Yeah. So basically, uh, you told both Noth and Tranquil that there's someone you'd like to meet, basically, that we found. Come on down. And then that's effectively where we left off. Yes. All right. Oh, so we've got to the scene where everyone's kind of uh, staring at Drin, not really sure what to think. As I mentioned before, he's wearing a very ancient garb. Uh, the way he holds himself is slightly different. Well, His pattern doesn't necessarily match theirs either. Should have got him different I, clothes. Can I assume that uh, most of you at least have heard of uh, Drew? Uh, they think for a moment, and uh, Tranquil kind of nods his head uh, at no, and not his thinking, sort of tapping his chin. Uh, so Harto does speak up first, though, and says, Oh, yes, yes, I've, I've uh, heard of the ancient warrior Drune, but uh, I do believe he was captured, yes? Yes, it turns out he was captured by the Urak clan, was it right? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Murdered, I heard. Well, as, he and his, uh, yes, as his it elk turns were out, uh, they still had some of his belongings uh, laying around, including his body, which was, uh, weirdly enough, in quite good shape. <laughs> as you Very can much see, alive. Emma, as I put it, as I... <laughs> uh, yeah, as I pointed through. Sarto Sarah's kind of Very mute, good quality. Uh, looks over to the figure sitting across next to Kakashi and narrows his eyes a bit. Uh, sort of a... You're trying to tell me he's been there for hundreds of years just in their temple? Honestly, if you, if you had told me the same thing, I wouldn't have believed you. But he was chained up and, uh, hmm, well, let's just say, not quite dead fiery sword through the chest probably not very comfortable no he was taken aback a bit at that and the the red the rest of the company is kind of uh, they're eager, eager to listen to your guys' story uh jolly included he was essentially coming by to take your guys' order but you can tell he's more so interested in listening to what happened I mean, kind of sitting proudly as you guys are uh, talking about him smiling your stories did say that he was uh, hard to kill i guess uh yes I guess, from uh, what i gather there was some truth in those stories and then uh, Noth speaks up that and goes, Hmm, ah, yes, I've heard of this. Mm, well, excuse the terminology, but foul beast that plagued our past. I believe he, uh, once again, if you are who you say you are, uh, Mr. Droon, and Droon turns over to look at Noth. Just, just sort of gives him a look. He, there's not really any maliciousness there. He doesn't seem to recognize the fellow, but he, see, can't tell uh, where he's from. Because I heard you were raised hell back in your day. Do you have any proof that you are who you say you are? He thinks for a moment and sort of strokes his beard and... Ah. No, I don't. And he kind of just smiles dutifully at you guys. You can ask me questions, of course. But proof. He just sort of taps his chest. I am who I say I am. That should be enough. Not kind of has a laugh at that. Yeah, I, I don't really know who else would be chained up in a long dead <laughs> you on T tombstone. He, he nods at that and kind of points to the four of you. <laughs> Pr precisely, precisely. And you heard that my last encounter was with the Urak clan. I was found there. Not too much a... Too much to be a coincidence, I would say. That and he kind of smiles and uh, po poses a bit, chin, chin kind of uh, tilted upward. My looks should also give me away, I would assume. My clothing, my pattern, my hair. Who else looks like this? And they all kind of like eh, nod to each other as if they've not seen someone mm, of this nature before. And his clothes do kind of match up with uh, what they know to be the older garb. But for all they know, he's just in the very elaborate cosplayer. <laughs> they will trust I'll, the... I'll, take, I'll take a look at Doro, expecting him to change it to Drew. What? What? Uh... Uh... <laughs> Loose enough. No, 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 not gonna laugh at that one. <laughs> I haven't practiced. I need need to work on my drone. Uh, he, he hits his chest and says, "That is fine, friend. It's a lot to work on. It's hard to master yeah, perfection." Let me, let me try again. <laughs> closer, closer. And a uh, jolly sort of turns to you and just kind of <laughs> looks a little a, a little bit disapprovingly at you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what about this one? And uh, Frank will sort of. <laughs> Rolls his eyes. I'm getting close, I guess. 
<laughs> well, going going backwards. All right, all right. Well, I, I I don't think I can do it right now. You have gotten gotten quite good, I will say. He's gotten faster. Oh this. yes. <laughs> Please don't uh, say that with my body. Okay, sorry. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Only makes me slightly um, uncomfortable. Uh, I'll I'll speak to Noth and I'll say, do, do the legends about Drun have anything to say about his resistance to fire? Uh, this is directed at, at Noth specifically. Yeah. Yeah, he, he thinks again for a second. Says, uh, "Yes, I heard he was mm, somewhat well acclimated. Yes, potentially. Yes, with the element of fire. Uh, something about his his weapon." Uh... Well, and... I, I, I saw this man fall into a pit of basically lava and get out of it. He nods that and kind of puts his uh, his arm, but not necessarily his fur in his hand, over the burning fire on the middle of the table. He actually puts his uh, well, basic, basic, I don't know, uh, his garb over it, and it doesn't burn. They they all kind of jump a bit for a second. Jolly kind of puts his, his hand out to sort of stop him, um, but the fire licks up against his clothing and doesn't catch. And then he pulls it back and now it's approving at you all. Just, I could take out the weapon if you wish. And Drew puts his hand to his chest. The Lord Dark I'm looking around. Of, uh, wh where do you keep this weapon precisely? What? Uh, go ahead. Why not? It's cool. He uh, stands up on the uh, the seat, not on the table necessarily. Um, he kind of takes a takes a, a little bit of step back. He has uh, one foot on the. Uh, bench itself and the other on the ground and he uh, kind of arches back a bit rolls his shoulders and opens his uh, shirt a bit more and plunges his hand into his chest uh, you see it sort of warp and, and warble the, the strange uh, black burning ashy effect around both his hand and his fur as he delves his uh, down to the wrist down to like half his forearm into his chest and sort of slowly pulls out this ginormous greatsword that is indeed on fire all onlookers including those that are eating uh, stop. You hear forks and other utensils kind of clank at their places. You can tell people are staring aghast at this display. And he sort of holds the sword in the, uh, the air, gives it a twirl and goes, ha ha ha! And puts it over his shoulder and just kind of looks at all of you and says, Well? Maybe you should have done that on stage, honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, uh, pu puts it back in his chest and kind of walks on over and... <laughs> I'm uh, all wide-eyed in amazement. Walks up the stage. For those of you in the back that were unable to see it, he uh, shoves his hand back into his chest and pulls the blade out, twirls it again, throws it in the air this time, catches it in his left hand, flips it over to his right hand, uh, does a quick twirl, bows, and beams at the crowd. And there's someone in the back that's just like... I will do, I will, I will do that too. Excellent. Do your he, tails clap? He, yeah, he, so uh, my tails will... Uh, uh, shit. Language. Gross. They'll shit? Don't do that. <laughs> oh, wow. No! They, they will, they will wag, they will yeah. wag. That's what I'm trying to think of. Oh, they're wag. Okay. Tell, tell, they, tell. they, they, they might, uh, they might smack Nath in a little bit. Yeah. So you, uh, Kara okay. turns to see uh, Drone doing this, and her tails are kind of like, kind of hitting him in the face a bit, and he's like trying to push him out of the way, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's a, uh, he's basically parting your tails as you would like going through the, the forest, uh, basically. <laughs> so he's trying. Just like, ow. He's, ow. he's, he's, ow. he's, he's quite a, a, a large lad, but he's a. Your, your tails are also quite quite beefy, Kiara. So he's kind of moving yeah, them I mean, the I have nine of them. You do have nine of them, and we do need to make room, of course. Yeah, uh, so, Nath is a tall guy. Oh, yeah. He, he's, a, he's a very tall dude, uh, but you are uh, quite thick. So he kind of, like, sits around. He's, 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 he's watching Drun very... I mean, obviously, this, this this man is showing off, but still, he, he is quite impressed, and he kind of, you know, moves tails off to the side, and he, he gives a clap as well, and then uh, Drun has a qu quick flip off the stage, uh, landing putting the sword back into his chest and very proudly walking back over to the table and having him sit next to Kashi. He's a bit of an attention seeker. You did ask. Not a bad thing. I fist bump. <laughs> I fist bump Druin. <laughs> he's a uh, he's he, he's kind of unsure. He like he like tops the the top of your top of your basically like kind of hits the top of your hand. Goes, <laughs> right, oh, Captain. Am I am I supposed to do something with that? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to bump it. With, with my fist. I, I, I grab, I grab his, his, uh, his wrist and just kind of like show him. He kind of like slowly goes into, and in fist bumps. He says, "Ah!" He, he looks at his knuckles and goes, "Aha! I like that." 
and he says that again again i do it again <laughs> he, he, it, it's a little too hard but you, you're, you're fine you're fine um no, you strike just, the shit out of kakashi <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, 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 a little Gosh, too excited at, room. At, at this new greeting and he turns to uh jelly and says ah what oh friend and puts his his left hand out and jelly just sort of like <laughs> slowly turns and looks to tranquil and says mm, well i assume he'll be moving here with us and then june kind of like is is looking around trying to get jelly's attention and uh, looking to the rest of you and stares over the table at uh, Tranquil and just sort of smiles at him. Huh. <sighs> well, this is definitely an interesting predicament. Uh, Sir Drone, were you planning on staying here? And he sort of thinks to himself and goes, oh, well, I, I can't see why not. You have a very fine town. I understand you are building it up from... Uh, he's very clearly trying to find the uh, appropriate words to say uh, from what it uh, was before, yes? From scratch, yes. And then Tranquil sort of, sort of nods. Ah, uh, yes, we were went under hard times, but our four friends here were able to assist us. And then Suato kind of smiles and says, ah, I've been helping too, yes, of course. And Tranquil says, yes, yes. Uh, they've been bringing many, uh, well, business, market. It has been thriving quite a bit, actually. And with the food and other interesting uh, bits and bobs that our four friends have brought here, uh, Jolly's shop has been much more lively as well. And of course, the other uh, folk you were able to hire. Eh, uh, well, they're keeping an eye out for more we've been, in case we're able to find it. Well, it was quite a popular dish. We are running low, but I'm sure it's nothing they can't handle. Not the sword, just watching, uh, very, very interested in this, uh, in this specimen. He kind of turns to you, Kiara, and says, mm, you know how that sword thing works? No idea. <laughs> he seems to be uh, quite, mm, quite out there. I don't think he'll mind me asking him later. No, I don't think so. He's he seems very friendly, also very strong. He smiles widely. That one. <laughs> good, good. Not really sure what he's thinking, but uh, he has a, a twinkle in his eye. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I can probably venture to guess. <laughs> it's like meeting the villain. Wait, what? <laughs> and uh, with that, everyone seems uh, pre pretty well acquainted. The townsfolk do believe you guys. You've had no reason to lie to them. You've only been helping the town so far. So they will take your word that this is indeed Drone. It, it, how unbelievable it, it is. The, the man should have been dead hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Uh, but the more they talk to him, the more they kind of realize, like, he's a little too out there. And the more he uh, acts... So extremely disconnected now. Uh, yes. The more he acts out, the more he uh, sort of proves who he is. Uh, there have been rumors of his personality and just, in general, um, various legends, of course. You read those sort of things. I would like to turn to Noth. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose there are any other uh, historical figures that the general yuan people would like to chain up in their their little homes. Eh, sort of arches around things for a moment and says, hmm. well, I mean, if you're talking about the temples, this certain practice is not one I've heard. I believe there's something special about Rude himself, so I'm able to hold on to him so long. I highly doubt they granted him immortality just to, well, torture him for all eternity. Although it does have something... Yes. Mm. I could see some clans doing that. Well, he was only stabbed there. I wouldn't call that... I mean, he didn't even know they... Apparently they'd killed one of his best friends and they he he didn't even know they'd done it. Mm. Sort of nods and thinks that's... Mm. Mm. Yes. I would say this is uh, probably not a practice uh, too widely well practiced. But it wouldn't surprise me if you were to see someone else. Now... Corpses, remains, skulls, as he kind of looks over to Kakashi as you two are talking, he can very plainly see all the, uh, your new belt, I guess. Chosen fashion. My drip. Exactly. <laughs> the ancient drip. The ancient drip. Uh, he says, uh, uh, usually more so along those lines. Skulls, body parts, weapons, things of that nature. Okay. Less so for bodies. The fact that his mind is still thinks to himself for a moment, uh, mostly intact, is quite impressive. He does seem to be a little uh, lost 
in well himself, but well, well, <laughs> mostly sane. Mostly sane. Yes, <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> oh, of course, seeking old conversation, good enough for me. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's good to know. Get on to that. Of course, of course. Um, anything else you were able to find, by the way? Uh, did we find something else? I guess I'm time to shit. What do I remember? Uh, I don't know. What do you remember? Technically, you guys haven't shared any of the books and stuff that you've read know. with the town. So. Yeah. Oh, well, then I'm definitely going to show not the books. I mean, we did tell him about the library, at least. In fact, would I not have already shown him the books? Because I went for another lesson, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, you, you probably would have shared uh, most of them. Oh, yeah, but... we did already sleep. We went yeah. to bed once. Yes, yeah, you did. We did but... also warn them not to touch any fallen books, specifically. Correct, we, we, when they went back. And then they were able to bring uh, back most of the uh, most of the valuables, and then we got all that sold, basically. Did they also bring back the statues and the, the room? Or the pre Boss room, I guess. The laser, the, the laser statues or the the snakes? No, the the, the snakes that you said were really. Well oh yeah, covered. the snakes. Um, I don't think they were asked to bring those back, but they were very very heavy, so they'd be difficult. No, I mean I, I probably would have pointed it out that it was really fine quality, and they might be able to sell it. But oh yeah, no, we we did. Okay. We 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 did uh, tell them if they could bring them back to bring them back because of that reason. Okay. Well, then they would have responded with they were heavy as shit and and also uh effectively built into the ground itself. They are removable if one were to go in with a finer tools that's not damage them. Uh, but for all you guys know, this temple is just open. I mean, for the you most can part, always come back. Yeah, you guys can come back. People are most likely not going to go down there. It, it's it not might get tours. Yeah, I know, right? Um, it might get dirty, but it is now a vacated temple. From what you guys can tell, there's nothing. I mean, they didn't report back with any creatures or monsters are in there. Or none of the spirits reignited to you know take them down or anything. So from what you all gathered, nothing crazy. I wonder how close my arch nemesis is. I wonder. I mean, it'll catch his attention if he starts coming across already raided tombs. Mm hmm. Maybe he's right below your table. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Well, then this entire inn yeah, is dead. Doro. Maybe it's Doro. Doro's dead. Goodbye, Doro. Just uh, get your chain, demon. Kill me. I, I would. The, the I would damn try if you the, turned out to be my arch nemesis. The chain demon knew better. Flying, I hate you. <laughs> wow. Well, no. That's not very nice. <laughs> How can you it's hate the truth. best friend? Honestly, would, I, wouldn't I, that be terrible if your best friend was a mimic or a mimic, a, a uh, changeling, and he was also your worst enemy at the same time? Mm. Yes. Yes, that would be awful. That would be some spicy drama. But that not that I'm saying to do that, but that does lead into uh, the hidden backstories I told you guys about that we're more than welcome to work on. <laughs> now, now might be a little late, but in general. Yeah, I was going to say it feels a little late to worry about that. A little late now, yeah. But like when you do he new campaigns. also your best friend who dies. Yeah, new, new campaigns. Mm. I have a really fun idea for a new character. And, and <laughs> Dora's also your friend that died. <laughs> no, but. And, and, and the one that hates everyone. <laughs> Doro killed Shit. Doro, and now you're hunting Doro together with Doro. Oh no! <laughs> Damn you, Doro! I will avenge I'm Doro. In every <laughs> I'm secretly an archmage that just has a lot of simulacrums all over the world. He's just, just really bored. <laughs> right, and with that, is there anything else the party wishes to discuss? No. I wanted to go talk to Karad and possibly fight him because okay. at least I'm, a, I'm assuming I know that I have to fight him. Uh, you have to do I mean, something with him, yes. I did tell you guys about what I did with uh, yeah. Drux, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to assume that it's a good old 1v1. Yeah, you can do that. You can uh, talk with him. It, it depends on the values of the individual. Do you think you can take him 1v1 with him? Uh, very carefully, yes. Oh yeah, can I one v one my sword? Anytime you guys want. Yeah, you, you guys have a full rest. Yeah, um, the, the that's what I wanted to do at the end yeah. of last week. Well, so the, the entity is a uh, is is awoken. Um, it is of course resting right now, but it is indeed resting inside the weapon, sort of waiting. Uh, effectively, you guys do challenge it, discuss something with it, talk to it, whatever basically you want to do. All right, I'll excuse myself from the table and head upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'll go to my room as well. All right. 
I think our right. tokens are already up there, technically, or a copy of them. They Maybe might be. Down here. Let's no, they're out. not. Okay. No. Okay. Nope. I uh, remember derping and accidentally uh, copying an extra set of tokens, so that was that was some fun. <laughs> um, you have done that several times, my we, love. It happens. Yeah, Sweetie my VP is also like to fight back. Um, so we'll, we'll say you guys are sort of uh, discussing what you what we just just basically talking and whatnot. Um, Jolly is preparing food and whatnot for you guys as we go to the upstairs zone. Excellent. And uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, Mr. Doro. What uh, exactly? I was going to say, uh, say let him go first because I'd go do something real quick. Excellent. Okay. And uh, as, as I said before, we'll start with Mr. Kakashi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do, good sir? Uh, I actually sit on my center mat over here. Kind of go lotus position. Okay. And try to speak to my sword and be like, hey. Alright, you try to channel communication with the weapon, and you do feel a form of response. Um, in the darkness, you see sort of a shadow swirling. It's, it's, it's more gray than the pitch black that you're surrounded by, and it has sort of a green hue to it. And he does sort of uh, kind of shimmy over to you. As you're sitting, he's, he's looking down upon you. No weapons in hand. And he's quite sort of just smiling and watching you. Not saying anything. And I'm gonna say... Uh... Hmm, what should I say? So I'm supposed to challenge you to officially own these weapons, correct? Mm, officially own? More like... Uh, work with... Yeah, you're your friend the more overpower them yeah so you're you're, you're asking him that i assume or are you asking him? yeah I'm, I'm talking to him okay uh yeah <laughs> anything he has to say i'll, I'll assume you're asking right okay so he uh sort of smiles at that and doesn't really look weary but looks more entertained almost like how do you know that and he kind of nods slowly i'm assuming you were able to defeat our prior master i point i, I like look behind me where it's mounted on the wall Okay, uh, your your figure sort of turns and he sees uh, through your eyes as you guys are effectively in your little mind palace right now and the room does sort of come into vision and he can see that his head is indeed mounted on your wall and he looks a bit taken aback at that. Uh, he, was, he was almost kind of joking as he looks back to you and goes, smiles and sort of nods. Quite interesting. And pray tell, how were you able to do this? Um, just straight up battle. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And what do you require of me? What do you want to fight me? Well, I'd like to properly uh, be able to draw your power out from these weapons. Hmm. And what makes you think you deserve that? Well, I guess that's up to you. Oh, no, I would say that's up to you. I am perfectly fine here with myself. Well, I understand not you only to... did we defeat you, but we defeated the one you serve. So technically, you follow me now. He uh, smiles again at that. I could. Yes. I know your culture. But I only followed strong. I'm yes. sure you can tell. He kind of motions to himself. I am not blood, you want to. You follow Obviously. the strong, and you fell. Correct. To the strong, which is why I hold you on my lap right now. He, he sort of, he concedes that fact. Indeed, indeed. Are you proposing we work together? Of course. Mm. He thinks for a moment. If you can prove to me you'll use my power to entertain me, I can assist you. We can work together. Mm, and how would that be? Sort of shrugs and he's 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 been kind of looking you over this entire time. You see, he's, he's checking you out. He's looking at you. Um, he's looking through you as well. 
Uh, you can't really see tell how far he can see, but you are mentally holding some things back, and he he can respect that. He's he's more so seeing your past, uh, who you fought, who you challenged, uh, various accomplishments and such, and sort of. Hmm. Well, the standard challenge would be to arms, of course. We could spend time stabbing each other, whoever comes out less bloody, and all that. Which I assume would work for you, but... Well, any way we could keep ourselves. Combat would be appropriate for me. As long as I'm having fun, of course. Well, me and my party, we plan on adventuring to even stronger tombs than your own, and defeating them as well. Mm. So you're trying to say there's more battle in our future? Absolutely. He excitedly kind of shudders at that and is thinking to himself, as long as you don't put me on a rack and leave me to rot. I believe I can agree to that, but, and sort of with a childlike excitement, I do want to see what you're capable of, Kakashi. Well, if you don't want to be left on a rack, you have to show me some potential. No, of course, of course. But, well, I'm sure you mind me asking you to prove yourself. Is tradition, of course. And by tradition, I conquered your leader. You know, that you did, that you did. Uh, are we talking in circles now, though? Let, let us be frank, let us be frank. Are you trying to avoid a battle with me, or are you trying to accomplish something else? What do you get? Hmm. I feel like we don't even need to battle. We've yeah. already gone through this. He thinks on that. One might even say I already did prove myself by... And I motion to the mounted head on the wall already. He, you can tell he seems like, he, he more so excited for like the future, future combat. Uh, go ahead and roll me persuasion with advantage while while he's thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. He he thinks upon what you have suggested. And he sort of smiles, and it's a little maniacal looking. Uh, you're taking it back for just 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 a moment, almost as if his his, uh, his mask is cracked. Uh, like I mentioned, his excitement is almost a little too childlike. And he kind of giggles to himself, and you see both of his weapons appear in his hands as he kind of uh, arches his shoulders and puts them together, pointing them to you. It's fine, Akashi. If you wish, I can serve you. We can treat this as more of a... Mm, how can we say, trial in progress, as long as you're constantly proving yourself and I prove myself well, I believe we could work together. Would that suffice? Yes. He sort of bows to you uh, in a sign of mutual respect. And... I'll nod my head. He... Well, like, slightly, like, head bow, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll flip both his weapons in the air and catch them by the blades, and he will sort of hand them to you, uh, the handles facing you now. Mm-hmm. I take them. Okay, you, you, you take the weapons, and he seems very content with that. And I don't know if you're hiding it from me, or you don't wish your friends to know what shall my title be going forward. Ah, shit. If I'm to shed mm. the name of a rock. I free you from your title. Hmm. He seems surprised at that. You do not choose to brand me with your own. I am free. Like you said, this is supposed to be more like a partnership than it is a servant. <laughs> relationship. Oh, you are truly interesting. This shall be fun. And with that, he sort of finishes. it. Okay. And I shall indeed remove his title. He is now just Erebus. Nice. No fight required. That's cheating. 
That's a speed run. <laughs> How dare you? That's How dare run. you use linguistics? And, 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 <laughs> How dare you try to talk out of it? No role playing. That's cheating. <laughs> That's my thing. Come on, You're man. You're supposed to stab things. I'm the persuasive oh, one. It makes sense, honestly. I'm the one with the plus ten. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, Doro's just gotta do like a dance off for all these are. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, Kakashi, you now feel uh, more bound to this weapon than before. You felt as if you were holding someone else's weapon prior, and now you feel like you're holding your own weapon. I will. It, it is only a uh, one. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll add both and then they'll be their own thing. They are two. Okay, so they should. Ah, that might be kind of weird. They're named the same thing, aren't they? Hmm, okay. Um, You can rename one to just offhand. They should have all their stats and everything they do, which should be uh, exactly equal to what you currently have. The short swords, just rename one to like offhand or whatever. They're yeah. already plus one. Uh, they should function the exact same way. And as I mentioned, the more you essentially attune to them, the more you speak with them uh, effectively, just let me know what you want them to do. And effectively, the sky is the limit. It just, it'll get better and better. So whatever you want, let me know. I do know one thing you want. And that is to be rid of the sun, which he can, of course, assist you with. And while you are attuning, speaking with your weapon, we will flash over to Doro's room. What are you doing? Fine, sir. Gonna sit down on my bed. Hold the bow. Start meditating with it for, okay. like, I don't know, a little bit. See if he does anything, and if not, then, you know. Spicy. I will, uh, after like five, ten minutes, I'll just talk to him if he doesn't Oh, yeah, do I'm sorry, yeah. The offhand, go ahead and remove the extra modifier. Whichever one you choose. Alright, and as you attune to this weapon, uh, you feel you feel lighter. Uh, are you sitting in your bed cross legged? Are you, like, laying in your bed? Yeah, cross legged. Okay. Um, the weight. Of your the bed under you seems to fade away. You almost feel yourself falling backwards, kind of just into, into nothing. It doesn't feel bad. It feels very relaxing. It's very calm. It it feels it feels nice. And you don't need to open your eyes, but you do indeed feel presence. There is a slight thrum to the air, and you do I'm know hurt, that boy. Parade is there, waiting, watching. A uh, Karad. He ha sort of has his arms folded as he as he's watching you, and he doesn't respond. He's he's just watching. I see how it is. The silent treatment. It's not very nice. He sort of just tilts his head to the side and just. Aren't aren't we friends now? Not sure we'd you know, say we were friends, but. Well, I mean, me and my group beat you, and then we this is true. went on to beat your boss. He looks a little taken aback at that, truly. Yeah. Mm. I can show you proof later if you want. Obviously, I mean, not you, right you now. Just show not memories. Can uh, I? He, yeah. he, yeah, he sort of looks into your mind, and you, you can feel him uh, sort of prodding around, but not necessarily in a very aggressive way. He's effectively, uh, as uh, we mentioned, sort of looking through your memories, your your your, your past, is a somewhat recent past, and he can indeed see that you did. 100% uh, fell his leader. And he looks both impressed and, well, somewhat confused with that. Kind of slowly nods of like a, hmm, hmm. I see. Well. What do we have of me, then? Uh, well. I mean, my friend Urit, he got this axe from another temple that had another Yuan T inside of it. Aye. And he told me that he had to fight it before they would actually give him any power. Sort of shrugs that and says, that would entirely so, depend on the creature inhabiting the whip. Yeah, that, I mean, that's why I'm asking instead of just, you know, saying let's fight. He sort of uh, solemnly nods that. In this I do appreciate. You seem to be more of the analytical type, as opposed to, well... Uh, you, you can both see and feel him thinking about Erebus, the uh, Anubis that you recently uh, battled as well. He was more of a fight first, ask questions later type gentleman. But, well, that is not, well, not necessarily so much my style. 
If you wish, you may prove yourself in combat. We may practice the old ways. Do you have another suggestion? Uh, well, I mean, first, I don't know if you're willing to give me any information on those little, like, cleaning robots that you had. He you see, my, see, my friend was really interested in those, and I would love to know and never tell her. <laughs> he sparks a bit at that and says, hmm, you're quite mischievous. Uh, well, you know, maybe, you maybe, to be harassed a shit ton. Maybe, maybe make a few and just let them run around, have her see them every now and then. I'll consider it. Those are my life's work, after all. I'm sure you can understand I had a lot of time on my hands. Yeah, I can understand that being stuck in the temple. He holds a talon out to time. you, um, sort of reaching for your head, if you don't mind. And you can tell he's reaching to basically touch your forehead. Okay, I'll let him. And he sort of places his talon on your head, and it it's a little... It's a little overwhelming. You do feel sort of a force uh, emanating from him, but also from yourself. And the room grows black. You feel nauseous for about a moment. And the room is still dark, but there's a little bit of light cracking through. And the vision of wherever you're looking from now uh, seems to be more erratic. And you can sort of hear like a skittering, almost as if uh, metal claws are pressing up against like some form of metal urn. And then he pulls his paw away and says, Excellent. Were you able to see that? Yes. A little bit. <laughs> well, seems I still have my connection then. That was one of my creations, we'll say. I'm attuned to them on a more spiritual level, using my oh, magics so and such. So they still work. Right now. Correct. You should have seen my face, because I'm very eagerly in inspecting it. Oh, you're currently looking at it? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, then then we'll... we'll... Uh, I'm, I'm, I know I know what he's doing, right? Because they told us they were going upstairs to do that? You, you would assume so, yes. Uh, I, I just yeah, so, so I'm very well. excitedly uh, awaiting news of success. Okay. So in instead of the inside of the urn, you uh, see Kira open the urn and look at this, oh, this creature. And sort of, you see a giant Kiara sort of... Uh, what, oh, what, what are you doing, Kiara? Y y you tell me. Terrifying. Um. <laughs> well, I'm smiling, very excited, and I'm just flipping him around, oh, trying God, to trying to figure insane. out how it works. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll say Karad uh, cuts the connection there, as if that's a bit motion sickness inducing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. As you are not the creature, and you're just seeing through its eyes, and uh, addressing you now, Doris is quite mm, eccentric. That <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a tinkerer. I can't help it. Well, well. You should see her in a room full of books. I would <laughs> prefer not to. Let us see. Hmm. No offense meant, Bard, but if I'm to serve you, you need to be worthy of my skills and talents. What makes you more worthy than my prior leader? I'm aware your group was able to take him down, but that was what, four? Versus one. He potentially yeah. brought in an oh. assistant or two. Your boss also had uh, two little Yuan Ki assistants as well. And ah. a dinosaur. I was not expecting a literal dinosaur here. He did tend to keep that one around, yes. It was a favorite of his. I hmm. will say it was quite fun to ride into battle. Seeing him in the back of that creature. Crushing our foes. Yep. Quite fun. It did look like fun. Oh, it but... really, truly was, truly was. He, I will say he was not the most intelligent man, but he was a good leader. May I ask, what are your uh, specific interests? I know you're a bit of a, a tinkerer. Yes, that one is quite evident. Well, honestly, I'm interested in histories, lost architecture lost knowledge, and such. I made the weapon that you're currently holding on to. General 
magic interests me. I do not have it within myself, so I decided to create it. I'm sorry, I only heard, like, the first half of that because my mother walked in. Oh, okay. Basically, he cannot do magic himself, so he decided to make magic himself. He's a tinkerer and an artificer, oh. effectively. He's interested in ancient magical arts and such. He called me eccentric? Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could learn more as we travel. We are going to more of those UNT temples. I doubt they're willing to share the knowledge, but if yours... Well, mm, we can take it. Precisely. If yours forward, as you were with my tribe, then, well, I'm sure we'll find what we want to find. That and I know I don't need to tell you. He motions himself. I am not one of them by blood. Also by I oath. Can tell. And besides, raiding more of their temples. What? What are you getting out of this door, though? Why you? I mean, originally I came here just to make some money, but I tend to enjoy the company of the people in this town. I want to help them out. Seeing what I've and seen so far, they seem quite nice. I can agree to that. You know, having your help would make uh, helping them a lot easier. Hmm. True. We ought to follow the old ways, though. You and I are to fight the combat. You don't seem to be one that wishes to follow that route, though. Am I wrong? I mean, if that's what you really want to do, we can do that. Hmm. I will not say that I tire of it, but, well, it is not my first option. Let's make this clear. You're proving yourself to me. If I am satisfied, we can work together. Mm. I leave it to you. Mm. He's just sort of floating there watching you, his wings slowly flapping. Well, if a small little fight to show you what I can do is what you need, then why not? He nods then and says, Excellent. And shall we decide the rules of engagement? Uh, I mean, I figured it would just be like a basic fight. I didn't know there were any rules and fights. He points to yourself and points to himself. So then one on one, no outside assistance. Yep. All right, then. That should suffice. Seeing as we are both, well... I hesitate to say masters, but users of the ranged arts. He sort of floats back up in the air, very well knowing that you can reach him and he can reach you. Let us make this quite simple. The first to concede. Well, I'm sure you know how it goes from there. Of course. He sort of uh, shouts from the heavens and the darkness that is surrounding you uh, more so turns into a billowing uh, cloud and you do see uh, lightning arc from darkened cloud to darkened cloud, and you do feel the wind begin to pick up. Uh, you yourself, though, are actually flying somehow in this open air arena. Uh, you're not really sure how you're doing it, but you're able to... You're not falling, and you're, you feel as if you're able to control yourself. Well, then, Doro of any... You feel him prodding around, and he's not really sure. Almost as if you're denying your past to him. Doro of Doro. I challenge you. That doth fight to be honorable. And he does indeed draw his weapon. So, standard rules. He will just fight you one on one then. Alright. Do I nice. get a copy of the bow? Like, or it did, or no? Is it just magic? Uh, it, it entirely depends. You technically have your bow, but if, if, you, if you will it, you'll be wielding the same bow he is wielding. It's entirely up to you. I'll go with that. Alright. Okay, excellent. You go from holding no weapon at all to a copy of his weapon uh, slowly materializes in your hands. And I did roll initiative, but that is merely just for... There you go. All right. <laughs> very, very straightforward. He readies his weapon and takes aim at you. And good sir, you are indeed first. Uh, don't worry about movement, obviously, because both of us 
have yeah. movement and both of us are ranged, so... Yeah, it won't matter that much. Precisely. Oh. Gotta go with the good old haste. Do I get magic items in here? Uh, no? your, your magic items do seem to be working, yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, your your hmm, your outside items. So the items that are attuned to you seem to still be attuned to you. Um, your magical okay. slots, everything, all your magic and everything are still working. Uh, the only thing that you don't seem to find are obviously your rations, rope, potions, things like that. Those are all gone. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well, I will from the ring that I prepared last night. I okay. will haste myself. Excellent become his speed and then with the extra attack i'm assuming it's just the short bow in my inventory for uh, attacking with it should be yeah it should be a, a magic short yeah yeah short bow yeah it is i will use my extra action to actually can i use it to no it's dash distance your hide or use an object all right i will pew pew okay big sad darn <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's how it go. All right. You uh, haste yourself and become somewhat of a blur as a crot is able to sort of weave to the right and uh, dodge your, your first strike. And he will indeed take aim on you. And for his first strike, he will just use his... What? Okay. Mm. It didn't give me concentrating. Uh, and boom. What you doing there, buddy? You want to... You want to... You want to roll? I want to roll from there. Odd. He's not. Uh, no, he doesn't want to. Why is this not working? Click. What the ass? I thought his character sheet like a peasant. What is this shit? I mean, it, right. it rolled it once for me. It yeah, rolled, it rolled it once for that. I, damage I had now. I had to open right. the character sheet to do that though. That's gross. It is very gross. I hate it. It's actual garbage. All right, you can do it. I believe oh, in you. Boy. I believe. Woo. Nice. Spicy. Alrighty. Keep my haste. His lightning bow arcs off two times, the first missing and the second striking. You're able to hold onto your haste, though. I will try to command him and then pew. Okay. Holy Jesus. Hey, which which one are you going for? Though. Oh, I never knew uh, that. I mean, he succeeded, but I, I was going to say drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, I pew. Indeed, you do. I am not entirely sure why mine decided to just not function. That was interesting. All right, he's struck by your arrow as he attempts to uh, flutter out of the way, but is unable to. All right, let's see. Do you want to let me do this one? No. Okay, cool. It is a. Uh... It's character sheet time for me. It's character sheet time for me. Let's do this. Oh boy! All righty, that is the big one. Um. <laughs> Lightning sort of pulls from the clouds around him, swirls around the front of the bow. As he pulls it back, the arrow itself turns into pure lightning and erupts, striking into you. Uh, fortunately, I don't believe you need to... Yeah, then since you were hit, you don't need to roll anything. It's just everything around you. And you hold Ow, on that to hurt. that haste. If you had friends, they would have taken damage, but fortunately, you don't. Currently. Wait, Fortunately, you don't have friends. Fortunately, you don't have friends to... increasing my AC. <laughs> it didn't increase your AC? No, it's at 14, which is what it's normally at. It's supposed mm. to be at 16 with haste. That's annoying. Let's see. You know what? I think part of the problem is... He would have hit me high. anyways. I'm just, yeah. I just noticed that. There you go. 16. Okay. Problem okay. solved, was it, was my friend. Priority thing again? Yep, priority. It's always priority. Yep. It's, it's, it's just programming. Oh, no. It's just programming. What's on now? I'll, I'll have to fix that in a second. I tried to remove haste from my ring, and I removed command on accident. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I had two uses of it. It's fine. Gotcha. Well, I will... Good old third level heal myself, because that hurt. Yeah, that's understandable. Just a bit. Am I, oh, God, am I broken? Are you? Healing word work. It doesn't want to work. Really? Do you have yourself he selected? He does, yeah. yeah. I, I see the, no, the yeah, little thing that. The menu. No, I mean... So it, do it doesn't work from the drop-down menu, but it works on the hot bar. Interesting, okay. Yeah, my, my, my drop-down freaked out. Now, I will say, I will say, this whole everything is in the process of updating, so that might be part of the problem. I didn't update to 8.6. I'm still using 7.9, 7.10. 
Um, so I think that might be part of the problem. Some things might derp out. So in case that's happening, just activate your skills from either your macros or from the, uh, the hop bar. Okay, on that note, can I roll checks? Yeah, I, I can roll checks. Okay, it's not, it's not reading items. Have, Interesting. I have to go from my sheet. Doesn't work otherwise. Yeah, same. Odd. Okay. Damn. Probably just about a big deal. These rolls you were rolling very low. All right, he's able to uh, avoid that one as well. You can tell he's uh, recharging uh, this round, so he's a little bit slower, uh, but he still get, does get... <laughs> it doesn't work. What's he do? Instantly goes to click it. Ow. He's only able to fire off uh, one arrow. Uh, you are holding that concentration, my friend. He's uh, he's starting to sort of uh, dash around a bit now. God, I keep trying to use the drop-down menu. Yeah, no. Just open up the sheet. I'm dumb. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, for for today, either use the sheet or use whatever macros you might have. Yeah, I'll, just have to, I'll just make a macro for the short bow real quick. Yeah, not a big deal. A few. Which, which wow. Oh, man, you're rolling. rolling. Not so terrible. great. A few. There we go. Alrighty, and again, he shall take his mark on you. Oh, no. First minor hitting. All right, you see the uh, woo, spicy. Wow, he does so much damage. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. <laughs> do, do you have any damaging spells you can fire his way? <laughs> uh, no, I am the support. Hmm. <laughs> well, hope you can beat him with uh, just heals. That's what I have to go for. Yep. And yeah, actually rolling. Really doesn't want issue. Actually rolling higher than a ten. Yeah, you're rolling help. really, really low. Like and eight. I you're rolling, rolling twos. Them, it's like ten or lower. Yeah. I I hit on a ten, I think. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is, does he only get one shot? Yeah, yeah, for for, for that round, he's he's recharging from the uh the big bullshit. That is the wrong button. I accidentally used fairy fire instead of healing word. Heal himself. Because I need it. Slightly. Pew pew. Hey! Shit. Hey, it hits a hit. That's all that matters. Uh, the healing word was a was a bonus action? You, you have a regular attack that you can do as well? Uh, well, I mean... Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. So I, I do get another attack then? Yeah, I mean, you get another... Well, you have another, another whatever, pew. basically. There you go, okay. About the same. About the same. I'm pretty sure that one's another, awesome. another low roll on the D8. Uh, honestly, as long as you're hitting, those are very <laughs> low. But all right, he will quickly fire off two arrows at you. Ow! Ow! Oh, I God. think I'm down. Uh, I'm down. Mayhaps, yes. Uh, I'm, that's enough damage. I'm down, and I lose haste. Oh, I need this haste, rip. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. He does indeed oh, no. strike you down. Doro died in his sleep. But uh. <laughs> You do, you do not die, obviously. We are in a dream. Um, you feel as if that last shot has mostly exhausted you. And he's not preparing a third, but you see he's very vigilant and ready to fire off again as he looks uh, down upon you as he's sort of been flying about this entire time. He says, hmm, is that all you've got, Doro? Yeah, that's kind of why I need your power. I'm not too good at Dealing out the damage. Yeah, he thinks that for a moment and says, Then what is your role? Uh, well, I mean, you saw I was moving a bit faster there than I normally would. Not of that. And healing. More of the supporty type in the group. So, you wish to protect your friends rather than yes. be in the front line? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe he thinks on that for a moment. He says, mm, Were I to help you, how would you utilize my abilities? Well, I mean, sometimes protecting your friends is just destroying their enemies. He <laughs> sort of a stifles laugh at that. This is true. This is true. Well. Hmm. I will say, while I am not impressed in your combat prowess... I am impressed in your ability to ask, despite not being physically fit yourself. Do not take offense to this, of course. 
we're all strong in our own ways. But you intrigue me, truly. Let us think. I shall assist you for now, Sir Doro. But know this, if I do not leave my powers being utilized properly, I will leave you. That's fair. <laughs> the bow of pity. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. how I expect the combat to go. And he sort of respectfully yeah. bows to you. Uh, so he, he's, he's essentially, the, the feeling you're getting from him, since you guys are connected in a uh, currently very intimate way, he can sort of see into you, you can sort of see into him. Um, the uh, What you're feeling from him isn't necessarily a pity. It, it's it's more, more of a surprise, because you know how strong he is. You've already fought him. Um, he was more shocked that you were willing to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, even though you yourself are not uh, the most strong individual. Uh, so he saw some respect for that. You didn't try to talk yourself out of the situation. You didn't try to uh, trick him or anything. You were very, very straightforward with him. And he, you, you feel a level of respect emanating from him. From and you get the feeling, uh, after he bows, that uh, you can indeed uh, use his weapon. But if for any reason, you know, you do not, uh, not necessarily abide by his rules, but, you know, I guess if you disgrace yourself in combat, or if you... Uh, tread off the path of not necessarily like justice or anything, but honor and uh, seeking new knowledge. You don't believe that the bow would offer you any more power. It's fine with me. And with that, good sir, I shall place the bow of Karad in your inventory. Oh my god. And of course, since that was a dream, you healed the bowl. <laughs> Attunement required. I hate that it gets rid of the attunement requirement. I know, right? It's so weird. It, it, it's it's some odd magic uh magic weapon bug. I'm not really sure what's causing it, but all the same, it's uh, a thing. I have to drop the Saturn. And I put the spells back in my ring. I say, what 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 are the what are the three? Uh, well, now it'd be Rhythm Maker's Drum, the Bow of Karad, and the Ring of Spell Storing. Gotcha. Also, if you want to, uh, <laughs> sell extra junk you're sitting on, you are more than welcome to. Like, the leather. <laughs> I've and... had that for forever. Yeah. I think it's only worth, like, ten gold. Yeah. Probably, um, maybe less sell, more so just kind of, uh, get rid of setting <laughs> your inventory up. You're more than welcome. <laughs> I won't oh, be too there's... anal with armor, though. So. I'll just give it to some random dude on the street. Here you go. Exactly. Alrighty. So both Doro and Kakashi uh, now have new weapons. Like I mentioned before, if you guys basically want something from them, uh, the more you use them in combat, the more you kind of just have them in general and they watch you. Uh, you can feel them uh, looking through you and, you know, you kind of look through them uh, all the same. Uh, there are some memories uh, rushing into your head, Kakashi. Uh, very few, Doro, but you do feel uh, as if he's keeping some information from you. Um, but in, in, in general, there is a light connection between you as well. Uh, Kakashi, you feel yours a little more... He's, like, eager, I guess, to share information with you. Uh, he's more so sharing histories of battle, um, kind of like his fighting style, like what he what he prefers and whatnot, just to kind of, like, hey, 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 kind of one of those. <laughs> hey, All listen. Right. Yeah, yeah, basically. All right, so you two now have fancier That's weapons. Mm, and, uh, We'll say I while go they were... buy armor. Okay. Uh, w while they were doing that, what were you guys doing down here? Just kind of chilling and eating. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do for it then. Probably nothing major. No. All right. Excellent. Uh, well, the day is very young, as you guys did indeed full rest, and then you brought everyone here essentially in the morning. Uh, Kakashi and Doro, as you guys descend the stairs, you see everyone's still kind of in conversation. They're eating, they're they're, they're having a good time. Uh, Druin's telling some war stories and such. And uh, Jolly seems uh, more interested in his stories than, than you've seen uh, somewhat in, in, in the past. And as all this begins to uh, wrap up, um, I, I assume we're, we're moving on to go purchase stuff and just do other things of that nature. I know we need to buy armor and potentially some other things. I gotta go rob that guy. And rob that guy, yeah. Yeah, so whatever you guys wanna do, yeah. let me know. What's the plan? Honestly, I should probably ask uh, Druk if he can, like, uh, 
cast magic field or anti-magic field on the door. Make things a lot simpler. It would make things much easier, yes. If not, I have dispel magic. Also true. True. And I don't have to see it, it just has to be within range. Ooh. That's weird, but perfect. I cast Piff. <laughs> no more door, please. Well, I used up my third levels for the day in that fight, but you know. Uh, that was on your head, so you, you have all your magic oh, back. Okay. Yeah, but basically all, all of that was just a enclosed fight. All your spells are back, all your HP's back. Anything you would have cast is all back. Yeah. It was basically a test, so go go nuts. <laughs> uh, all right, so I, I, if we are done here, then as you guys are walking out and uh, heading out, you see all of them are kind of having a little uh, conversation with, with Drone. And uh, Nath is, is interested. His jelly kind of goes off the side. Um, and he sort of uh, waves over both Urit and Kiara. Uh, Jolly, that is. Runs like a madman. Sorry, say, say that again. As everyone goes to leave, uh, Jolly sort of waves you and Urit over. Okay. And he looks to the, the, the two of you and says, hmm. Well, it is, of uh, course, good to have you all back. As I mentioned before, I had a, um, a request of the two of you, if you don't mind. Yes. Uh, well, as I'm sure you noticed, he points to the uh, southern portion of the room, and you notice that uh, more than one of his paintings are missing. And there is a bare spot on the wall where you can tell that he did indeed uh, recent, semi-recently take it down. There's a, the uh, gentleman, uh, Drew, was interested in uh, my paintings. And, well, on top of he thinks for a second. I... You mentioned it, Kiara. And uh, I think I'd like to try again. Uh, bringing my art back. I do not have the utensils to do so, though. My tail start wagging. And he slightly smirks at that, but like kind of tries to hide it. I... And uh, once again, you cannot do this. He doesn't understand. I was um... a bit... I already made him paintbrushes. I was looking to make him paint, right? A uh, little, little bit of both, yeah. Uh, did, you didn't already give him the brushes, did, did you? Yeah, I thought I did. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I remember him giving me a weird ass look. Okay. Um. Okay, then he'll he'll refer back to those and said, uh, "While these are good quality, Piara, uh, I do not mean to seem ungrateful, but I require slightly higher quality. The the bristles, that is, and the handle. And he kind of shows you his his hand and. Uh, sort of obviously, he's a bit larger than uh, than you and most uh, folk that the two of you have made things for. This is uh, in order to fit uh, these, I guess. If you wish to take measurements of some variety, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but I need a certain texture on the actual brush itself in order to, uh, well, paint properly. I know it might seem I'm asking for a lot. Let me know. No, that's fine. Size is great. What kind of what kind of bristles do you do you generally do you generally use? Uh, well, the animals you brought in, I'm quite certain to use uh, their fur for bristles, which is normally fine, but they're a bit rough. I need it needs to flow better, uh, smoother, if you will. And he sort of digs around in a pocket, and it looks like a really old brush. It is like beaten to hell, though. And he sort of hands it to you. This is uh, something more similar to this. May I borrow this? Yeah, he, he's, he's handing it to you as if to basically let you uh, uh, take it for now. I will take it. He's uh, sort of nods that. And then uh, he's now ad addressing the uh, two of you. This is a, uh, well, hmm. I do not believe the gentleman has any money, but uh, Druin wished to uh, purchase one of my paintings. And I'm not opposed to selling it to him, but the frame. Is, well, not to my standards. If you're able to uh, craft one that would better fit, I would appreciate that as well. Sure, I could do that. We can work something out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, no rush, of course, but uh, do let me know when you have it, have it done. He was quite... Mm, Need to be RP. Sure. Uh, he very much, uh, well, seemed eager to purchase it for whatever reason.
And uh, with that information, he sort of you know, nods and says, kind of nods his thank to both uh, Kiara and Eric. Mothers. And then he kind of sort of heads off to uh, deal with more customers off the side. All right. And uh, the rest of our group, where are we headed to? It's a sadness wind. Where's that exactly? I don't know. But we must find it. I just want armor. You just want armor? Okay. <laughs> You, you, you want the fancy armor, so are, are we heading to back to Sakai, or...? I think so. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. Unless there's something here for us to do, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, I, I do not believe so. Could be wrong. This kind of low. Cool thing is... This should be... Mostly... Reloaded? The biggest map in the world. So yeah, looks juicy to me. Awesome. All right, Wifey's AFK for now, but she doesn't necessarily need anything here. Um, so is there anything else you guys wish to purchase besides uh, better armor and such? Well, I, I want to sell my old shit. Okay. So I want to sell uh, both plus one short swords and my old leather armor. I need to get rid of the plus one short bow in my inventory. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, did I? Did I? Uh. Did, did my Vilnum tongue that I harvested, like, did, did I give it to anyone? What I still have it on me. That's what I'm asking. Uh yes. So any item you had on you since you weren't here at the end of the session, I did not take out of your inventory. Uh, if you wished to do something with it, I can just say like someone has it. Um, in, in case you didn't go back and listen to the episode, basically what happened was, uh, yes, the ground did, like, quickly grow the villain tongue that you guys left behind, but, um, with their combined efforts, they were able to produce two, uh, potions for you guys, and if they were supplied with more, they could make more, but while they do grow fast, it is very difficult to make that potion, and they can easily mess it up, so. Um... I'll give my two Vilnum tongues to Suharto because I feel like he would appreciate it. Okay, I'll jot that down. I'll go ahead and remove those from your inventory, and we'll say gift them. Why would you give them? You need those because he gives me potions all the time. <laughs> yes, yeah, what do we need these to fight the, the scorpion? Well, I'm giving them so he can develop the anti venom or what anti charm or whatever yeah, the hell it is. He'll work on it for you guys. Did though. What? He, yeah, he, are you giving him the potions or the the, the raw herb? The the raw, raw herb. Yeah. Oh, okay. That herb, herb. Yeah. So the the group has two of the potions. I, I don't have a physical item. I just have it jotted down here. That as a group, you guys do currently have two. Of them. Uh yeah. So how much do I sell my short swords for? That is a wonderful question. Probably like three gold. My plus one short sword? Three. Well, his, his, okay, his, three his gold are fancy. times two. Uh, let's see. You guys recall how much we sold them for last time? As a frame of reference? I don't think we've ever sold we, plus we one sold, before, right? We, we bought them before. I've, I've sold bows. I'm pretty With sure it was like maybe? 650 to 700 each. Okay. I think something like that. That, that sounds about right. Yeah. Maybe a little less. All right. So you head into uh, this little shop, and he he greets you, Kashi. Uh, I, I assume you're still wearing your uh, wonderful belt. Oh yeah, that's my drip. Excellent. Okay. And he sort of smiles, and nods, and says, "Oh, was it quite nice? Did you go dungeon delving again?" Absolutely. <laughs> well. I assume you're here to sell more. I saw your friends come by here earlier, and they, well, dropped off a few things, we'll say. Yeah, I got some stuff I gotta sell as well. Excellent. And what have you brought to me today, Ashe? Well, I have no use for these anymore, and I'll put uh, leather armor and two plus one short swords on the thingy. Okay. Uh, he sort of looks over them and nods and says, these are about the quality as I was expecting. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. I kind of gives you a look. 
I assume you're looking for, well, looking to purchase something as well. Not just here to sell. Uh, yeah, I need to buy a studded leather armor plus one. Hmm. Enchanted leather armor. Well, fortunately for you, I am able to uh, procure such a product. Looking over what you have and kind of, um, so you, you're giving him, uh, say, both weapons and then your old leather armor? Yes. Okay. Uh, sort of looking over all that and then looking at you, he thinks for a minute and says, hmm. I believe we could strike up a deal. If you were to leave me these two weapons, and of course the uh, old armor, I could probably find something to do with it. Uh, maybe leave me an extra, what, say, 400, 350 gold, and I can have the armor made for you. Hmm. I do believe I know where All to right. find you, so I can just take your measurements and have it sent over. Shouldn't take long. sounds fair. Along with the weapons. How much sounds fair? 300. Hmm. Slightly lower than I suggested. Mm. What makes you think they're worth more? We both know you sell these plus one enchanted swords at at least a thousand. You oh, what I, what I sell them for and what I buy them for are two completely different Absolutely. situations. In fact, I believe I am overpaying for them. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, here's how I see it. You bought an enchanted weapon from one of my friends for 600-ish? Around that, yes. And this is two of them. Correct. Uh, leather armor should be only about like 1,500 gold. Around that, so yes. So I'd pay the difference of 300 uh, go, 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 go ahead and roll him a uh, persuasion. Standard. Looking for like a 14. Eh. Mm -hmm. And the thing says, uh, let's see, how about 325? Meet you in the middle. Mm, sure. All right. He <laughs> smiles at that and sort of uh, uh, begins to, I don't want to say daintily, but he'll takes your old weapons, so you can go ahead and just delete those out of your inventory, and uh, subtract 325, and he sort of snaps his fingers, and uh, you didn't see them before, as they were behind uh, one of these, <clears throat> they were behind uh, maybe stocking something, I'm not entirely sure, they were, they were bent over. They kind of like whip over and uh, look to you for a second, almost approvingly, he says, I don't think you mind if we take your measurements, quickly. Go ahead. Excellent. Uh, please put your arms out. And this uh, other figure kind of begins to like whoop, 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 and he starts like just basically checking all your measurements and whatnot. Um, he kind of bumps into some of your daggers and he's trying to like, he's like, oh shit, okay, this guy's got a lot on him. Um, uh, he's very carefully taking your measurements and he kind of nods approvingly and goes, all right, all right, well, I do believe with that everything will be settled. I will uh, have your armor sent, let's see, by end of day to your town. Does that sound fair? Yeah. He smiles widely at that. Most excellent. And uh, tell Suharto I said hello. I'll give him a kiss for you. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, also, your little friend with the tails. Uh, she happened to be around. Uh, did Kiara come with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah she came why with not? Uh, Yeah, I think she's around town. Uh, if you could find her and send her my way, we have uh, things to discuss. You're late with your down payment, so I released the day. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna break your legs. Oh, you I already did my down payment, thank you very much. Alright, Kira. Uh, Kikashi just runs through the wall. Kiara. Kiara. She here? Is she dead? Hello? I'm here. Uh, I, I said Kiara. <laughs> he said Kiara. Oh, yes. Uh, shopkeeper dude wants to see you. Well, he does? Okay. I will head there. Where is this coming from? AC Quick, armor he's distracted. Line. Let's steal this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to head back with her because I want more shit. All right. Uh, and I'll put the armor on you now. So you just, you just have it. Mm-hmm. 
All right, oh, as, a, Casey. as Kiara heads in, uh, hey, Salil. Salil sees you from distance and sort of gives you a wave and says, ha, my favorite customer. How are we doing today? <laughs> We're good. How's my chain demon coming? Well, you seem quite excited. You assume I have good news for you? I hope so. And he sort of, uh, <laughs> he laughs himself oh, and goes, go, sorry. I do, I do. Do you have hmm, expendable income on you? I assume your group recently delved into another cave. Hmm, I've got a good a good amount. Ah, well, keeping the amount to yourself. Smart businesswoman. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Excellent. Uh, well, I do have good news for you, actually. The seal, while uh, having some issues, I was actually able to completely fix it for you. That was faster than I was expecting. I do work quite quickly, especially when undisturbed. And I'm a man of my word, so your creature is fixed. And he picks up your urn, it's on the table. I will just require my payment. Uh, do you recall how much you put down the first time? No. Okay. I don't think I wrote it down either. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let me see if I did it real quick. I might have... I did. Okay, you're good. Uh, he thinks for a moment and taps his chin. You see, to cover the remaining costs, I believe be about... Eh, 275. I blink at him. That's it? That's it. It was slightly easier than I was expecting. Alright, I will open up my purse and give him 300. Hmm. He raised eyebrows at that. He's a tip, Kiara? Uh, yeah, I was expecting a slower work. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Glad to know, uh, people see excellence, they know. And he basically finishes sliding over the urn all the way to you, Kiara, and it doesn't look different, but upon touching it, it feels somewhat different. Yeah, I was about to say, I assume I can feel the difference. Yeah, it, it felt unchained and unbound before. Something about it felt wild. Uh, touching it now, though, it feels as if whatever entity is in there is more so controlled and not necessarily banging to get out, but more content with its situation. Or at least Ooh. you would assume so by touching it. My tail's wag. Now, please do be careful with that. I do know you are aware what's in there. Oh, yes. He's uh, a little feisty. <laughs> a little is putting it lightly, but yes. <laughs> I super appreciate your help. Oh, and I appreciate your patronage, my fine shop. All right. Let me know if you if you need anything. I do have more books, but I need to look at them first. Of course, of course. And if you don't mind me asking you, and he kind of looks to, at all of you, I do believe you were able to uh, delve into another one of those temples. Was there anything you didn't show your townsfolk that you're maybe potentially willing to sell? Anything more rare? Nope. Let's answer that quite quickly. I don't remember. I mean, I think you have the, the golden thing, right? Glaive. You do, yeah, so you have his weapon and his and the armor, Kiara. Uh, the head is currently mounted in Kakashi's room. Oh, well, I didn't want to keep those, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not you. <laughs> in that case, I will say, oh, yes, I did. I totally forgot. Casually pulls a massive golden glaive out of her pocket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll say you, you you kept them on the lizard cart. How's that sound? I, I was about to say, would they have would they have stayed with me, or would I have forgotten them back at home? Uh, once again, you tell me. They 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 are. <laughs> this is your character. If 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 you forgot about it, we did skip last week, so it's perfectly fine to have slipped your mind. But you can say that you did bring it with you on the lizard cart. As it All is, right. yeah. The, the dude was freaking huge, so it was carrying this was not feasible. All right. Uh, I will say I. I remember to bring it, but I left it in the carriage. Ah, and what did you uh, forget to bring in? You said it was a glaive? Yes. Tell him to come with you. <laughs> it's a glaive. Why don't you come with me and find out? 
c c uh, come see it. It's it's kind of huge. Oh, you can bring it in. Am I strong enough to lift it? Probably not, am, but you have, you, 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 have carried it with you. you do have three friends. You roll very high in your strength check to pick it up. <laughs> it, it is so the, the dude you guys were fighting was like not 10 feet tall necessarily, but damn close to it. And it was sized to him. So it's big. I can't uh, really I'm not very strong. Oh, you all I are like with me. Muscles. All right. I see what you're trying to do, but that plan kind of failed. Come on, guys. Come help me. Mutter on his breath, making his customers the wallet as well. <laughs> I mean, we are trying to get money out of him. True, true. And he seems to be uh, tinkering with something. Uh, Takashi, are, are you staying behind? Yeah, I actually want to try pur purchasing some more uh, potions. Plus, Earth's fucking strong as hell. So. Yeah, sure. Uh, and he, he notices that uh, you, uh, you... I'll just big. blow a uh, RP giant mite on it. Sure, well. yeah. Yeah, or, or, or it gets thick as all get out. And uh, doesn't really need the help of Kiara and Dora, I assume. He kind of just does it by himself. Uh, okay. I Making sure it. he doesn't trip on a random stone. Oh, of course, of course. Accidentally oh, scraped the ceiling with the glaive. <laughs> mm, uh, Sila winces a bit at that and kind of like, okay. <laughs> and he motions to the table. You may place it down uh, here. Place the entire, what, 15 feet long glaive on the table. And he looks very impressed at it. He goes, mm, wow. Yeah, isn't this nice? And uh, may I ask whom you uh, retrieved this specimen from? I will say the name. Okay. He nods that and goes, hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, did he happen I want to, to roll to remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I know it. <laughs> did he happen to leave anything else behind? You said his uh, armor, right? Yeah, Great. I also brought the armor with me. Yeah. I'll put it next to the glaive. Yeah, he, he he does seem quite impressed. He's uh he's looking over all these items. So uh, he's he's kind of flipping the armor. Uh, it's slightly tarnished, but it's very very high quality. He he can he can tell he's not he's he's not dumb. Uh, he's, it, it he's wasn't he's looking, magical, though, was it? To to a degree, yes. Um, it, it, his his store his soul was like stored in like the general area, but you guys like <laughs> kerfuffled him, so he's he's kerput, no longer inside the weapon. Um, but. In general, the the, the weapon, uh, the glaive was is plus one mechanically. So yes, it, it is infused with magics and such. He's looking over it uh, while he's speaking with you guys, kind of turning the blade, testing its edge and such. This is quite interesting. Uh, were you able to find anything else in his chambers, or in his stockades, or anything? Not that this isn't a specimen. People. I mean, there were tons of stuff in his uh, tomb, but. Like, Weirdly nah. enough, not much of it was uh, magical in nature. Yeah. Hmm. Are you hoping for something specific? He sort of turns to you and says, Of course, I'm a collector. Well, if we know what you're looking for, we can maybe see if we found it by accident and don't actually realize what it is. I'll put it this way. Were you able to identify everything that you brought back with you? I believe we were, right? I think so. Yes. I mean, we obviously aren't going to tell him about uh, what we found in the throne. But oh, yes. yeah, that's obvious. Yeah. But I'm definitely aware that he might be looking for that. Uh, yes, I'm thinking that too. So I will say... In my backpack. Yeah, we identified everything. I see. Uh, I assume they were all standard magical items, any kind of motions to a store, like things I would be selling. Nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, pretty much. It's hard to believe, but... I mean, we All found right. this guy named Droon, but he's alive and not for sale. He Don't think it's very legal yes. to sell people. <laughs> he gives you a look and just kind of isn't trying to respond to that and... <laughs> pauses yes, I guess that was the, the he's weird asking... thing we found in there. <laughs> what? You both got off what? <laughs> I just said that was probably the weirdest thing we found there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the weirdest thing we found. Okay. Well, uh, he's alive, I assume? Yeah, very much. Ancient, alive, a little confused, and not for sale. Nodding slowly. I'm not <laughs> asking to purchase this person. All right. Just j j just checking. That that was the weirdest thing we found. All right. All right. No artifacts or strange uh, keys? I squinted my eyes at him. 
Nothing that looks like a key. Can you draw me a picture? Potentially a scroll? No. In the library? I know uh, most of you are quite interested in reading and knowledge and such. Was there anything in the library that caught your eye? I mean, there well, were tons in the library uh, that caught my eye. <laughs> there were some cursed books. <laughs> there were some cursed books. There was a massive tomb, but there was nothing. Well. But if, if you're looking for a specific book, you're going to have to let me know which kind so I can see if I happen to bring it back. Um, hmm. Yeah, he sort of looks around the shop and it's not, they're not too busy right now. You guys came in at a good time. Uh, I'll put it this way. I know their clan had dealings with the Rukhal clan. Was there nothing pertaining to them? I think I did find something like that, right? But book wise? History, yeah. You found history. I, I think found we found uh, a good friend of a uh, one of the <laughs> clans. Sort of nods That's that about one. it. And he uh, seemingly finished looking at the weapon. Would you be willing to sell this information? What, in the books, I guess? Yes. Yes. I mean, I oh, to Kiara. Did you bring them back with you, baby? Did I bring what with me? Any of the books, the books. any relics, anything potentially you're not using. Uh, and once again, I mean no offense by this, but uh, you potentially stumbled across something that you're unaware of its value. I have money and I'm willing to pay. No need to let a uh, piece of history rot away in your pocket when you can give it to me. I'm going to say I, I brought no books back with me. Because hmm. well, I, 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 uh... I was still having them translated. Understood. I could send you a map to the police and you can look yourself if you're uh, that desperate to find it. Oh, I'm <laughs> not willing to go in myself. Sorry. I'm not, uh, well. Yeah, I think we cleared it out well enough, but, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Right there, right there. Uh, when you uh, ask how much the, the ring is, he thinks, uh, moment to himself, he it's about to 3500 Yes. So not DC bad. is expensive. Sounds Quite. about right. If, if, if it's good and you want it, it's expensive. <laughs> Correct. That's what it seems like. <laughs> yeah. That is essentially how things go. But do be and, like and, and he, he smiles at that. He says, if you're finding yourself low on funds, well, of course we could make a deal. Go Are you on. planning... Are you planning to uh, look into any more of these temples in the recent Absolutely. future? Mm, that is Don't what worry, we... we'll be back uh, with more stuff for you. Of course, of course. I would be more worried if we don't come back. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, I will be blunt with you. I'm looking for a very particular set of items that I've recently come across. And All right. Well, I find it somewhat concerning that you were unable to find uh, anything of value in this last temple. Uh, as I mentioned, I, from what I gathered of my history, the Orak clan did have dealings with the Rukal clan. And you say you find nothing at all linking the two? It was weirdly empty in that, honestly. Hmm. There was just the books, I think. Yeah. Books and miscellaneous, not very important uh, artifacts, like the furs. Yes. I see. It, it appeared they, their most protected uh, relics were two healing potions. Kind of scoffs at that. <laughs> hmm. Well, not entirely sure how to feel about that, but I am, Shrug. as I'm sure you could guess, uh, more so interested in the legendary Rukhol clan. It is said to be impossible to open the gates. Those that try, well, do not make it back. I have sent various folk to go uh, prodding and looking around, and it seems. Uh, well, don't mind sharing this information with you, just in case maybe we'll employ you in the future. But it seems something is keeping the door shut. Uh, from what I've gathered, something regarding a key scroll of some variety, maybe something needs to be read. It's a command word. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But. In the future, if you happen to come across anything that would uh, potentially lead to finding out uh, a way inside, 
I will pay greatly, and I do mean greatly, for this information. Er. We are talking ancient history here. I have heard a lot of good stuff about them. Well, I'm not sure I'd use the word good, but yes. Well, I call riches very good, so... <laughs> I can see that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, this uh, this weapon here, I guess, to uh, quickly get to the point, and the armor, I can give you uh, 1750 gold. 1750? Correct. Yeah, I think that's worth it. We all agree. I assume she didn't go in there and grab this herself. Well, technically. She did technically go back and grab it herself. Yeah, pretty... I, I did kind of. I was having a very, uh, a good day. Excellent. Well, your good day is shared with me, and I will share my good days with you. As he begins to sort of prepare the, uh, the gold, I assume we're all in agreement then? Works for me. Wonderful. Yeah. Works for me. All right, go and uh, each of you uh, add 438 gold to your inventory. 438? 438. Gosh, he is fucking rich. I keep giving my money away to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 1,700. Hell yeah, well, I say if y'all need potions, I know level ones aren't cutting it anymore, I mean, so. Oh my god, damn. I got, oh, I got level threes and level twos. Oh, yeah, oh, good. All Don't the items die. I want are expensive. Also that. Things are very expensive. The little damage I take, the level 1s are fine, honestly. And alright. <laughs> I can just yo-yo you. It'll be fine. Yeah. This is also true. As long as you're in the spell slots, you're gravy. Yeah, I can literally use potions of heal now. Alright, well. Least... If... If, uh... In the relative future, choose to uh, interact with these clans and any shape or form, I would not mind assisting, we'll say, depending on the uh, difficulty of said task. Uh, we can make the deal, of course, when we cross that bridge, but just know that I'm here. Uh, out of curiosity, how would you help assisting? Well, I can't have you dying now, can I? I can help bankroll you. Of course, as long as you bring back what I request... We'll have to be honest and above the board on this. So, for example, I have you go in. I would uh, ask you to sell me the items, of course. You'd bring them to no one else. You'd show me first. I would have first pickings. If I do not deem them worthy, you can sell them to any other riffraff. I care not. We'll think about it. Of course, of course. Y y keep it in mind. I will make it worth your time, though. Two years, though. Hmm? Your mic exploded, what? <laughs> yeah, you, oh. your, your mic is like dead. Yeah, you're oh, like, bop, 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 bop. Not again. Oh, goodbye. Round two? Nope. Uh, probably not. Say a full sentence. Hello. The hello work. Okay, I heard that. All right. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's better. You basically turned into the Charlie Brown like, parents. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, that. Basically, I said the uncutest Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Sounds really funny! <laughs> it does sound funny. It was like, basically, I went... Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> it, like, died at the end. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Oh, wait, I have an idea. So little. <laughs> Small. <laughs> <laughs> Angry. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Discord is not wanting to uh, cooperate, unfortunately. But, but it's just demons. It's, it's just demons. One of the groups you sent happened to have an animated shield. Uh, he thinks for a moment and says... Potentially, but not to my knowledge. Are you talking about what's her faces group? The girl from the town? What's her name? I'm completely blanking on names today. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, he kind of, kind of, kind of smirks that one. It's just kind of, just kind of like an okay. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know the option does exist. You all seem to be quite competent, and you've already brought me uh, many interesting riches. So, if I can benefit, then I would like you to also benefit. But, once again, think on it. You've time. Alright. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, not uh, today. Or not for me. If you had any marvelous pigments. How much would you think he would be willing to pay for uh, the head of the Urak clan? Probably a lot. Is Kakashi going to want to sell that? Depending on how... Uh... Depends on the answer. Oh. I yeah, guess I... I'll ask him that then. I think this is the same. Item Hypothetically. Hypothetically, if you had his head. Uh, let's think. He, he, he thinks for a moment and kind of goes like, hmm. Not entirely sure. The head of their leader? Absolutely. Hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically. I would have to think on that. It depends on the condition it's in. Great. <laughs> I'll look at Kakashi. <laughs> it's in great con condition. Mm, well, hypothetically, of course. It also hypothetically depends on what you consider great. But if it's up to my standard, show a picture. Can, we could see past the thousand mark easily. It would be the head of one of the great clans. That is definitely... Or something quite interesting to say. Not many would have something of that nature. Not that I, I would go... wish we'd gotten the head of the last clan. Ugh. Nah, no, he couldn't, because he disintegrated. There was no head. There was nothing left of him. The, their, their binding magic was super weak, so his body well, was, like, dissolved. I wish their magic was a little better. But I agree. What we happens when you hate that. magic? You're bad at it. <laughs> okay, the... Marvelous pigments are quite odd, so we'd have to like. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, you, you have to, we have, we have to, they're, they're weird how you measure them, um, because they come in. It depends how many he has. Yeah, it, it, it's enough paint to. A thousand square. Thousand feet square feet. Yeah, it looks like it for, for, like, for like one. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, I do believe we had someone bring some of those by, relatively, eh, not too long ago. Uh, they run about 250 or so for a single pot. Per pot? Yes. Hmm. Tempting. They are quite odd. I would I'm sure you know how they function. I would recommend you be careful with them. Well, how about I buy two of them for 400? Mm, but we're, on, we're only one of those uh, persuasion. Persuado. Never find the button for persuasion because I'm blind. There it is. A30. I, uh, that's a horrible roll. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. I know, right? No pigments. What? 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 I you type, don't have the item? I type pig. Oh. Pigments. There it is. Found it. Alrighty, he thinks for a moment and says, You know, you, you've all been. Quite, quite good customers. You don't fight me, you've not insulted me in any way, and you do bring me quite interesting goods. So you know what? I sure thing totally don't. You, you, you yet. You have yourself a deal. Four hundred for two. I'll hand him four hundred gold. He uh, smiles at that, takes your gold, and supplies you with two pots worth of marvelous pigments. Nice. Now I can draw a hole on the wall next to his room and just walk in. <laughs> I mean, it's magically protected, right? So I'm not sure that if it can. The door is. We don't know about anything else. I thought we also fell uh, from the walls. Uh, yeah. That was also... A, okay. Well, it was also a joke because I wasn't going to waste it on that. Yeah, yeah I was like... <laughs> it'll take a while to do that. They're weird. You would also cool. know, considering you just bought it. Yeah. B basically, yeah. the more the more common a magic item That's is, the, the less useful it is. So if you can just buy a door anywhere, it's not that useful. So. 
because everyone in the world will know about them. Now, it doesn't mean that everyone would have protection against them, but those that we should protect useful shit would know. So aside from magical items, you also sell uh, magical creature parts, I would say, yes. Uh, I can procure them, if you're looking for something in particular, yes. The softest hair and furs you can imagine. <laughs> I won't ask what you'll need those for, but uh, yes. I was just going to ask. Um, Are you making a blanket of some variety? Or? Hang on, p pause real quick. Okay, nope. so we, we asked which kind of furs Jolly would want. Yeah. Did, I also wanted to ask about what kind of paint he'd be using. Like, like the materials he generally preferred. Uh, you kind of get the feeling that he'd want just just a general, more high quality paint. Of course, anyone can mix paint by just taking pigments from you know the earth and various plants and just mix them together. But the color might not you know pop enough. It'll be quote unquote green or blue, but it's like muddled. Um, so just any any type of uh, vibrant paint, just higher quality paints, effectively. Well, does 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 that usually require? Okay, so would he have told us what kind of? materials he generally use, or would I need to go and ask someone like like a merchant, like Salil? Uh, basically, long story short, for that, you could literally just ask for high-quality paints and see if he has them or not. He, he's, he's not assuming you'll craft them yourself, because it, it can be difficult to make something of that variety, so you can buy them pre-created, uh, pre that is. Okay, so yeah. back in game, Ert's asking about furs. I will jump in and say it's for paintbrushes. Okay, he sort of nods and goes, oh, yes, yes. Um, how much precisely would you need? Are we making three hundreds, ten? Uh, let's say ten. I want to give him lots of different sizes. All right, all right. A full and set, preferably. Would you also have high quality paints? Any smiles that? Would you be requiring any canvases or frames? Canvases, an easel. Actually, no, we can make an easel. It's fine. Understood, understood. Yeah, t uh, we'll take the canvas, but I'll be making the frames myself. How about a high-quality wood for the handles? You already have that? I do not. I was hmm. going to stop by next door. Unless you have better wood. Uh, I'll put it this way. We work together. You can ask me. I can put together a work order for you and have it sent to your town. Well, then Why yes. Do... Yes. <laughs> I, I am in need of high-quality wood. Uh, precise, precise. Aren't we all? Uh, why jump from business to business where you can buy everything here? I can make it more convenient for you. <laughs> Savvy businessman. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, it might take an extra day or so to procure exactly what you're looking for, but I can easily have it done. I assume this is a no rush? No rush. Of course, you can't rush good art. Uh, well, I can... When you say high quality paints, how high are we talking? Are we trying to impress a king, or... Uh... You're thinking I'm leaning towards yes on that one. Well... I definitely want high quality. I don't know if I want to impress a king, unless Noted. the next highest is, like, noticeably worse. Oh, of course. Something there. that is uh, display-worthy for publics. Perfect. I have just the person in mind. He starts jotting all this, this, this down, and he kind of pulls out a parchment from under the table and uh, sort of gets things uh, situated and such. Hmm. I, I'm sure you're not going to like this answer, but the price will fluctuate a bit. I'll need to discuss um, various things with them. Uh, we'll put it this way. I'll gather everything you need. I'll have it sent to your town, and you can pay when it arrives. It won't, it won't be expensive. E each unit will be within the five, ten gold. It, it won't cost you very much. That's acceptable. Excellent, excellent. Uh, well, is there anything else I can do for all of you? Nope. Perfect. Not that I can think of right now. Uh, how much is a deck of illusions? Curious. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, you're looking for a full deck, or well, calling one used is quite telling, but uh, full deck maybe. Oh, they can be uh, somewhat dangerous if used to improperly. I don't really sell too many of them, uh, but the full deck would run around six thousand. I believe. I would have to double check the parts and uh, everything deck to make sure of it's illusions. Uh, correct. God damn. I mean, there's a lot of. Uh strong illusions in there. Seems I have expensive taste. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, magic items are just expensive, honestly. Also true. Now we totally 
really need a scroll of Tarask summoning. Oh, those are like five gold. Tarask are useless. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no one actually takes those things seriously. No. They're just really big. If anything, dogs, we need basically. a bag of holding about those, aren't you? You can, I mean, you can put your little mask in there, and just when you don't want him, you just kind of release him and say, "Oh, get him, buddy." Oh well, no, they have a flying carpet uh, and a bow. He's dead. Shit. How much are gloves of thievery? These tombs always have locks um. that either ma magically or mechanically need to be opened. So let me double check that volume. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we will only be needing one pair. Yeah. Uh, those would run about a thousand or so. Hmm. That's not bad. Yeah, interesting. Considering how much you're starting to make now. Yeah, but I'm probably going to save them for that ring protection. That's yes. fair. But you can test the close of thievery on his door. I mean, I know, <laughs> but it's a magic door, and I already have a plus 10 for, like, flood, so. Yeah. Actually, it's a plus 10 plus 3 because of Thieves' Tools, technically, so, it, yeah, it's dumb. It's a plus 18, then. With the gloves? Jesus. <laughs> don't even bother rolling at that point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, once he gets a reliable tenant, no, you don't. Yeah, I know, for real. <laughs> the door opens because I say so. I mean, I mean that, that, that's literally godlike thieving skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 pretty insane. Oh, actually, how much uh, is I already that? have seventeen AC. I mean, I don't need more than that. No, seventeen is mean... actually super high. Seventeen's really high realistically. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, seventeen's really 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 good. Like, it's getting... gonna go up when I hit eight. Most get, yeah. most like big yeah. enemies have like a plus seven anyway, so that's yeah. basically a 50 50 to get hit or not, right? Exactly. Like, when, when, when you start getting up mm -hmm. in like 17 18 AC, that's insanely I, high, I mean, and theoretically, every attack could miss, as as we saw with the boss on uh in this campaign, <laughs> he missed like every single attack. Let me let me get them gloves, thievery, the gloves, want the gloves, all right. He uh sort of rummages, rummages around a bit, and uh, things from them. Ah, yes, they go. And then he kind of pop, pops over and uh, digs through something and uh, seemingly places uh, nothing on the table, but you do hear kind of a plap. I think they only become invisible when you wear them, right? He's a, well, he pulls his finger out and they show themselves. Right. <laughs> I, I do like that trick. It's quite fun, but yes. I give him a thousand gold and I'll take them. Okay. I'm going to put on a pair and just walk out. <laughs> you they'll never them. know Blind. Yeah. they don't yeah. actually require attunement do they that's useful okay, they not. actually work that's a good question uh, uh, they shouldn't because they, they don't have an effect on them mind if I test them on your door <laughs> <laughs> they do not actually work that's fine I'll get back, play it later I didn't think it would. No. You could probably just edit this uh, the thingy, a direct. Yeah, I'll play it later, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, and uh, Dora, I believe you were saying something. Oh no. Uh, how much is a wand of magic missile? Because I'm pretty sure I asked that before. Uh, yes, I do believe I gave you a very ex- more. Uh... I'm assuming the wand of polymorph is extremely expensive. Uh, yes, let's not discuss the price of that one. <laughs> not uh, until okay. you brought me back lots more items. Like a shit ton more, yes. <laughs> uh, wand of magic mist. Let's see, let's see. Mm, quite the potent item. Let's put it this way. Um, with the prices you've been saying no to, this is most likely also out of the range. I'll no just offense. just want to know for the future. Somewhere in the 6,000 range. Boy. Yes. Alright, well. I'll have to think about that one eventually. Wands and various items that uh, contain magic purely are quite expensive. As of course, anyone can use them. And, well, it's an infinite font of magic. So, makes sense. Well. 
sometimes you have to actually know how to use magic to use them, but you know. Oh, true, true, true. But I've seen some very interesting, uh, let's say, situations play out with those that are not uh, adept with the arcane arts, we'll say. Oh, it doesn't let me add effects to the item. Right, yeah, you can't, like I said, don't worry about it. You can't add anything. Not, not with this uh, current version. What I have to do is I'll make a custom one, I'll throw it in D&D Beyond items, and then it'll be updated. Oh, okay. not, not a big deal. It's actually super easy effects. Just have to mess with it. Me yes with it. In fact, I'll import that and slowly start working on it. I think that's everything then. At least for me. Alright, perfect. And is there anything else the rest of you will need or no? Hmm, seems about it. That's yeah, plus five to what again exactly? Uh, Slide of hand specifically? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have a right. plus fifteen. The minimum you can roll is a sixteen. Yeah, that's definitely insane. And it doesn't require attunement. No. Realistically, all of us could get could get, could get a pair. I'm poor. Yeah, I can't afford it right now. That's only one <laughs> k. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I can't afford it right now. I'm poor. How about this? We just, we just have uh, Kakashi use his newfound thievery skills to steal us three more pairs. <laughs> True. <laughs> Actually, what happens if you put a pair of thievery gloves over a pair of thievery gloves? Nothing. You open a portal to the astral plane and you, you die. Your, your old hands yes. are stolen by a cosmic demon. Uh, your oh. hands turn into, uh, turn into the hands of Hadar. Yeah, of course. Oh no. Or they become visible again. Oh. Get a minus 10 in thievery. Oh god. Goodbye, it, 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 it loops, it loops back they into itself. They become massive. Thank you for the stuff. Goodbye. Anytime. Are we all we all gravy? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, so we're done? Oh wait, hold up. Let me. Uh, I need... <laughs> no, not hold up. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a spin I need things. Like... Yeah, I'm a spin. Time like to gold. play my favorite game. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get like uh, fifty gold getting uh, alchemist uh, thingies. The stuff for my potions. Oh yeah, uh, like, th those are what? Those are how, how much? You, ten, ten each. Yeah, ten each. Yeah, I, I believe we're using that. Yeah, go ahead and just manually add that. Uh, that one is I think you have under alchemist supplies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And I still have the weight. Okay, good. Yeah, the weight's slow. Yeah, you, you went way over just because <laughs> they're like 30 pounds each because it, it's programmed as the other Alchemist Supplies, so go ahead and add that. Alright, technically, these gloves should actually function. Let us have a look-see. Buy old gloves. Hello, new gloves. Yay. Jesus. And you're on the crit. Dear God. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Do it. Do it All open. Right. I, I think no, you, you open locked. a rift in time. My God. You, you, you can steal anything from time anywhere ever. <laughs> that is insane. I now love you can it. Steal a declaration of independence. All right. Oh my God. I take a I take a plant on the way out. <laughs> I mean, that's a magical plant, so... Yeah, roll on a table. Tell me what plant I got. Are you, are you, are you attempting to a plant on the way out? Assuming yeah. it's not trapped. You gotta check it for magic. You fool. Now we all die. Are you actually winking a plant? No. Okay. <laughs> Why not? How much was a bag of holding again? I think I asked this. Um, it says 4K, but I can probably sell the fever. What about uh, who was handy? Haversack. What? <laughs> it's it's a smaller bag of holding for your What's backpack, basically. What's it called? You oh were yeah, Hubert's Handy's Haversack 2000. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. What is that? Yeah, what, what's it good for? It's basically a backpack version of a bag of holding, except it's smaller. Oh, okay. Oh, does it have like a... Oh, have like, that's, has that's like little cute. side pockets, doesn't it? Yeah, it has, it's, it's has a side pocket, yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, two times 80 kilos or something, or 80 oh, okay. pounds. 
That's cute. Bag of holding instead of have a limit too. Yeah. Yeah, instead of one times five hundred pounds or something. Okay, cool. That that does. <laughs> so the bigger one has like half the uh, fan capacity. I love it. That is hilarious. Space means nothing. All right. Uh, are you actually doing a quick gamble, Kiara? Yeah. All right. Is it time to duel? Good to duel. All right. Kiara has a squat down. Um, I, I assume. Are, 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 are you? I do not squat down. I am more ladylike than that. Thank you very much. I am sorry. She uses her choice. tails as a chair. Oh, obviously. Yeah, you, you, you kick the chair out of the way and it's kind of like they fold under you. I'm trying to intimidate. Is it working? All right. Uh, qu so question. Are you seeking out a better looking opponent or? I am seeking out whichever opponent catches my eye first. I don't care. Okay. Well, what I mean is are you looking for skill, a.k.a. more money, or you just not care? I don't care. You don't care. Okay. Uh, well, you sit in front of someone. Let's see what. Uh, you sit down in front of somebody, and they seem quite confident as they sort of lean back in the chair and just nod to you as you sit in front of them. Hi, let's play. Oh, quite to the point then, aren't you? All right then. Uh, would you like to go first? Uh, sure. Of course, of course. We'll pretend we're sitting in different seats then. Or we can just do this. <laughs> Alrighty. Same deal as usual. Uh, they sort of bundle with a, uh, a bag of gold and they kind of pop it up in another hand. How much are we beating today? How much do I have again? I'll do 50. Only 50? Come, you seem more confident than that. Oh, so do you. 80. Excellent. 80 spare. All right. 80 gold on the board. 80 G. All right. 80 G. 80 Gs. All right. So we're doing the usual best two out of three. Uh, so you roll your little dragon chess set first, and then we do insight, and then we do deception. Don't cheat today, husband. I'm kidding. I'll try my hardest not to cheat. <laughs> I am known for cheating. <laughs> uh, you, should, you should really ask to borrow my helmet next time you do this. Th th does it help with insight? Uh, it gives all her proficiencies with tools double proficiency. Ooh, juicy. Holy shit. All right. Art thou ready? Yes. I will have to copy paste this because my rolls are annoying. Oh, yeah, I guess over so yours. All righty. We'll just, we'll just roll. You go first and I'll go. And then best two out of three for the first one. You may lead. All right. Well. Oops. I'm going to do that again, right? Uh, we do be best of three. All right. So the game begins. And Kiara's opening moves aren't as sturdy as usual. Uh, the gentleman takes a somewhat early lead. Good? Yeah. You did roll. What do you mean? You've only rolled once. I said, do I roll again or not? Yes. You said no. <laughs> no, I said yes. <laughs> he said yes. I said yes. All right, well, that's, that's already two out of three for the first one. Uh, so Bye. he takes a relatively far lead uh, to begin with. Now we're going to roll insight. See, you would have won with if you had the helmet. <laughs> it's all right. Potentially, yes. Ooh, all right. So you start to uh, you start to take it back a little bit. We technically rolled the same thing there. Ah, uh, we did, but your modifier is higher, and he's he's taking it back a bit as you uh, snipe a few pieces from him. Go ahead and go again. Ooh, uh, but I thought I told you to stop cheating, hasn't I? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but he sees where you're going with this. <laughs> Damn and <laughs> he's able to kind of kind of sneak around and you're unsure the current board state is you can tell one more mistake and this could be the end of the game but go ahead and roll which one deception same thing same thing we've been rolling inside oh, inside again inside yeah oh wow my roll's not so good today not so good today being dominated unfortunately he does take very very early board game presence over you and that is two out of three we don't need to roll the last one and the game plays out for a little while, Kiara. You're sort of taking off your game and go ahead and subtract uh, 80 gold from your bag. The gentleman oh. does end up taking the game from you. All right. He doesn't seem cocky in his victory. He, you know, shakes your hand and lets you know that that was indeed a good game. <laughs> good game. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you see someone sort of uh, fiddling about. They're like playing with the pieces and it's like they're they look more bored than anything. They're like stacking them. They kind of go, oh, hello. Hi. I used to play. 
Yes. Your last How game did not, did not go quite well. Um, oh, it happens. Yeah, sometimes. Just, uh, he's also quite good, so I would be careful next time. Hmm. Um, I'm fine with the... Well, you can play for fun. Or uh, 20 gold, I guess. 10? 20 works. Okay. 20 gold is on the, uh, on the board. All right. Same we rolled last time. Start with your dragon chest set. Uh, I'll roll first, then you roll. Well, <laughs> sometimes. Hey, I just have fun playing. It works for me. Oh, of course, of course. And then go again. Don't roll less than 12. I believe Button. in you. Come on. Button. There we go. Alrighty. Holy shit. I rolled really well. All right. Now I'm thinking you are cheating. I'm Robert. definitely Yeah, I'm definitely cheating. All right. Uh, she takes the early game, uh, but Kiara, you're, you're definitely going easy on her. Oh, yeah? You're definitely going easier, yeah. Did you na- say so? Now we're rolling insight. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. And very quickly, Kiara, you take the mid game. Now we're moving on to deception. And seeing that she she thinks she knows your game. She thinks she knows your game. Maybe she doesn't know your game. <laughs> I'm a fox. I'm Trixie. Oh, oh you are Trixie. Oh, but by the end, you can tell uh, this player wasn't necessarily the best Kiara, and you kind of held back a little bit. Uh, it's not fun to completely dominate. Oh, maybe maybe it is. I have no idea. Um, but to look better, Kiara, you didn't completely dominate this player, and you let them think they had the upper hand, but all along, there was no way you possibly could have lost this game. And go ahead and add 20 gold back to your uh, wallet. Sweet. You noticed that the uh, player that you just recently uh, was up against was uh, sort of watching the game and kind of kind of hard to, to read his expression. But in general, you can tell that he was kind of like, okay. well, he's clearly very good. Yeah. Uh, good game. He, she nods to you and says, ah, thank you. Thank you. Next. <laughs> GG easy. Wait, what? <laughs> How much money are you trying to make, babe? <laughs> Three games. Three games. Three are okay. lucky. Three is All lucky. Right. All right. Three is lucky. All right. One more. All right. Kiara doing? God damn it, you gambling <laughs> addict. Right. What are Ramul! you doing over here? You, hap- you happen to see Ramul kind of just hanging back and uh, having it, having a good old drink, and he gives you sort of a, a, a quick salute and goes, Ah, Kiara, I see you are back. Yeah, I'm here to play Jack and Chess. I didn't know you knew how to play. <laughs> of course I can play. I've been playing since I've been a child. Oh my. House of 50 sound. Uh... He, like, thinks for a second, just uh, finishes his drink and kind of waves his hand for another one. Here's the table. 50 sounds great. Doro, how are you two doing? As the game begins. Doing well. Okay, where's my roll? Here it is. All right, not the strongest start from this, uh, this lad here. Go and roll again. All right, you quickly take the beginning of the game. And... and he he barely realizes that you uh you, you've already uh, effectively moved all your pieces into a very very good position. Okay, now we're, he's had a little too much to drink. Maybe probably. a little too much to drink. Uh, we moved on to <laughs> we're on we're on insight now, and he's he's focusing on you. He's he's watching you like a hawk. <laughs> he's watching very closely, and you get the feeling, Kiara. He's actually watching you more than he's watching the game itself. <laughs> and before Ramul has realized it. He's uh, both drained his second drink and also lost the game. And looking down, seeing pretty much all of his pieces are gone, and he's kind of like, but, but hold up. I, I, you see him like, 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 like absentmindedly reaching for pieces that you've already taken. He's like, kind of shaking like, mm. uh, cl- clearly I've, I've, uh, I might be off my game today. Uh, well, how about a rematch next time I visit? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I will be uh, much more in in, uh, in spirits then. Uh all right, it is also nice to see you again. I have uh, yet to visit your little town of Shabby, but I was thinking of uh, heading down uh, relatively soon. Ooh, we look forward to seeing you there. Mm, of course, of course. Whenever. Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, okay, I'll go ahead and add 50 uh, back to your coffers, Kiara. <laughs> Already <So>. done. <laughs> hey, I only lost 10. Oh, not bad, not bad. Well, that was um, quite fun. <laughs> uh, yes, it was. I love Dragon Chess. Well, it's ow, ow, you... ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Yes, yes, that's accurate. <laughs> used to be one of my great loves, but uh, clearly I'm uh, not what I used to be. Oh well. 
Well, how long have you been here in this bar? It's time to get active again. He kind of he kind of laughs at that and uh, scratches at his chest and uh, looks a little like I eh, maybe been here for uh, in the general. You can kind of tell that he's been here all day. Uh, <laughs> nice. There, there, there's a few cups under the table and he kind of pushes one with his foot. <laughs> Not too long, not too long. I will uh, I will wink playfully at him. You're welcome to come to the town sooner rather than later. <laughs> Are you proposing me, little one? A, a what? Was that the proposition? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not to interrupt, but I'm pretty sure she's older than you, old man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now you have my interest. I might have to swing by. All right. Uh, all of you... Uh, uh, take it easy. You as well. Kind of gives you all a salute as you uh, head out, I assume? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, did you ask something earlier? Uh, we I rolling? did ask how much a rod of uh, immovable rod was. Probably super expensive. Let me double check. It shouldn't be. It's like a super cheap magical item, I think. Uh, you do some cheesy shit with it? No, that is not a super yeah. cheap magical item. That is a very high tier. Not super high tier, it, but... What... It should be gone yeah. as shit. It's, it's, immovable... it's one of... Yeah, it, it's, it's one of those one of quote unquote like... common magic items that is insanely powerful. It's game breaking. Yeah. I mean, it's if you abuse yeah. it, yes, I you're, guess. You're supposed to abuse it. <laughs> um, it's yeah. expensive. It's thousands. <laughs> Warm up. Yeah. It's, what about the bracers yeah. of flying daggers? Uh, I don't think that one's too bad. Flying daggers? Doesn't that just let you throw daggers out of it? Yeah. That might be useful for uh, Kakashi. Me? Because they're literal magical flying daggers that automatically return, or you'll never right. run out of it. I am not sure. You can, I'd have to double check. As an action, you can basically throw two daggers hmm. for free. Fun. Yeah, that, that, that could be good if you can't get into position. Uh, that one, I'm yeah. not 100% sure. I'd have to double check of what's comparable to it, but that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. I think it's in the same range as, like, the uh, archery braces. Probably, yeah. So it, it, it probably isn't too expensive. Other than that... Ready to fight the scorpion thing? Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, do we have enough things of charm? We need uh, four of them, yet? I guess, yeah. You I think we only have nine. three, I think. Is it? You have two, currently. Two. Yeah. I also have counter charm, which helps a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not the best thing ever, but... But we might also bring Dr uh, Drew. In which case, we need, like, five, right? Probably, yeah. We don't Actually, we might also one. we might also bring some more people. Actually, uh, yeah, that actually might be a good idea. That's entirely up to you. Uh, out of out of character, out of DM. Be careful with that. But yes, you're more than welcome to. Out of DM. Yes. Yes, we're going to bring like sixteen people, and <laughs> yet he's going to have to RP all of them. <laughs> I can just <laughs> if you value them, just be careful. <laughs> They all die. <laughs> they can if you bring them all, but no. it's up to you. <laughs> no, we definitely only bring like strong people like Drew. And I guess Ramu wants to die a legend, so. <laughs> hey, buddy, want something fun? You want to fight a scorpion? Want to fight one very thick boy? Exactly, the thickest of boys, the largest of lads. Indeed. Alrighty, well, what is the. Actually, side note, babe. How do you feel currently? Fine. You feel fine? Okay. Just one sec earlier, so. Oh. On your birthday, that's not I know, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. I know. It should be illegal. It should be. It is. It's illegal. It actually is. Well, the law. then I'm breaking the law. Oh, well. How do no. you? W wish I wasn't. Might have to I mean, you. it's a good thing that you can't be arrested on your birthday, so. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> good point. That is also the law. That is a very good point. <laughs> Laws don't apply to you on your birthday. You can legally break the you law on your birthday. You could literally rob a bank right now. You could oh. even go into the magic shop, kill Salil without any repercussions. <laughs> yep. But it's not Kiara's birthday. <laughs> and and yes, as you're stabbing sure him, as you're stabbing him, he's like, "Well, I can't do anything about it." <laughs> I guess I'll die. Was it your birthday? No, I don't. As you're killing him, I was like, "Is it your birthday?" And you're like, "Yes." He's like, "All right." <laughs> guess I'll die. Oh my gosh. All right, what shall we do next? Uh, I mean, it is technically the same day, 
Uh, so by the time you guys get back to uh, your base of operations, it won't be late, obviously, but it'll be somewhat. It, it does take a little while to get here. Uh, did we buy the wood for the, like, easel? Uh, effectively, all that will be sent to Shabby. Okay. Uh, and I'm waiting for the paints to arrive along with the wood, right? Basically, all the painting shit, the 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 wood for the handle, the brush itself, easel, all that stuff will be sent. Paints, all of it, all at once. Okay. He's effectively collecting it all for you. I was going to say we could uh, just go after the scorpion. Like after or a day or two. I could bother Doro to tell me what his bow said about those little mechanical cleaning machines. Nope. You know nothing about that. That's a damn shame. <laughs> we could also discuss the fact that Salil definitely knows about the, oh, the key yes. into yes. The, oh, yeah. the tomb. I, I meant to discuss that. I He didn't react like he recognized the thing that I drew, but he definitely knows what it is. It's actually it was weird. Pace. Yeah, it was weird. I'm, I'm wondering if it might not be a bad idea. I mean, uh, to team up I, did, with him. I did insight him, and he didn't seem to know about it, so... Mm -hmm. Unless he's, like, really... Oh. Insight's not exactly, like, a perfect lie detector. Yeah, I mean, unless he's really good at lying, I guess, but... Just drop that zone of truth. Yeah, let's do that. I, uh, refract into oh, Umbra yeah. and uh, cast zone of truth. Just launch it in there. Garth <laughs> 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 oh. can do it, he's done it before. That's true. Yeah, this, yeah, I mean, that was in a dream, though. Does he have enough power to manifest it in oh, real no, life? He, he did in real life. No, he, did it. he did in real life. Yeah. Outside the first uh, dungeon. Oh, right, you did. Yeah, you guys know he did it, so it's... The thing with spells yeah. is everyone knows you cast them. You can't cast them in secret unless you're like a sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, the problem yeah. is, if we have uh, Karth cast it, that he immediately knows that, yes, we do indeed have Karth Rukal with us. Also well, that. he doesn't know that. We could also well, try to, like, fake yeah. casting it. <laughs> While Karth yeah. does it. You just say Abracadabra and uh, Karth cast it. Kerba Kadurba, yeah. I'm casting this spell and definitely not my scroll. Ignore that, please. I mean, you could use the scroll as a focus. Yeah. Just, just, hit, just, <laughs> just hit him with it. Yeah. Karth, you want to team up? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't mind telling him about it if it wasn't for the fact that he wants to take everything. Yeah. So fuck him, my loot. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> My stuff. It, it's not like we're saving stuff that's too too bad for him. I mean, too special, I guess. Yeah. I'm more worried about the fact that there's probably something in there that is worth a shit ton, or is either super powerful or whatnot, and he's gonna take that. Yeah, considering he's never mentioned it before. Probably. What is in Zoom, actually? What's in what? In the tomb. Good that uh, Salil might want. Some kind of sure. mythical, ancient artifact or something. I mean, he wasn't going to tell us. And neither will God. And neither will Karth, apparently. Yeah, neither will Karth, yeah. Karth a is useless just scroll. He's there too. Everyone uh... is God around here except us. <laughs> 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 Why can't I be God? I grant you God. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> I win. Damn, you won D&D. &D. Shit. I've done it. Uh, <laughs> I've done it, guys. I've won the game. I, I steal ration, like, snacks out of Kiara's pockets. Damn. Oh, God. It says I have snacks in my up. pockets. You're Kiara. You always have snacks. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, you have to roll a sleight of hand for each of her tails, though. What, what kind of snack? <laughs> for each of the tails. Yeah. Um. Hmm, Just rations, probably. Good question. Banana what kind chips. Of snacks with a fox girl like. Good question. Oh, I'm a jerky lover, definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh man, I want some jerky. That's crazy, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Is it boy jerky then? <laughs> Come on, I'm a fox girl, so that means I'm a carnivore, right? People like jerky, yeah. weird. Kakashi also likes jerky, apparently. <laughs> who like jerky? I mean, I only have the best jerky. I don't like jerky. I've never had it. Really? Ever? <laughs> no. You've never had it. Oh, it's so good. It's too. It's way too expensive. It's so I've good. I've never had a burger. I've never had jerky. Yeah. And, uh... I mean, that makes sense that it's so expensive. But... Yeah, that's weird. I don't eat beef. Do you? Do you choose to not eat beef? 
It's like a religious thing. Okay, that's fair. I, I was about to say, that, that makes sense. So you've never had, like, uh, turkey burgers or anything? I mean, no. I know, actually, no, I have not had a turkey burger before. Hmm, okay. Yeah, because a burger can, I mean, it doesn't have to be a cow. It can be anything. I've had, like, a chicken sandwich. Yeah. That's not I've really had, a burger, though. I've had a, I've had a buffalo burger before. That wasn't bad. I had an yeah. emu burger? Or it was weird. Oh, it was no. so gamey. Oh, my God, it was so weird. That's almost I, a Kevin burger. I ate Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I can taste his rage. He deserves Kevin's it. An asshole. He does, Kevin's an asshole. He yeah, deserves I mean, it. <laughs> I've eaten a horse and ostr ostrich before. So. Never had horse. Oh, ostrich. Yeah. I I'm pretty sure yeah, I'd be shot for eating a horse here. So. <laughs> Come back. You I... know, I'm sneaking up on you. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Here in the country, probably. Oh, no. I got you. Oh no, you do know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hey, <laughs> if your passive perception is high enough to see that. Uh, yeah, should be a 13. Also, you know, being out in the middle of oh, the I day. Get, I guess I should roll. Or, uh, perception? Fuck off. Nope. <laughs> Even with. It, damn it! D D D Dora can smell you sneaking about, so he's alert. <laughs> well, I just took snacks from Doro. So. Oh no. <laughs> My snacks, how dare you? I saw that. Hey, Doro, <laughs> you just stole your snacks. I know. What are you talking about? He's an asshole. No, you don't. <laughs> I know they're poison, don't tell him. <laughs> it's it's fine, I gain immunity I gain immunity to poison eventually. I, I, if you eat enough of it, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it's like shooting yourself with smaller caliber. I'm bullets. already halfway there. Speaking dwarf is nice, yes. Actually, I think I literally gain, like, resistance to it later on. Probably. Because of my alchemist? Hold on. You become immune to your own uh, stash. <laughs> you gotta, like, up the game. It doesn't work anymore. I need something stronger. Oh. Alrighty, what's, what's the plan? <laughs> I snort the purple so, poison. How many more days would it take for them to make a couple more doses? Uh, realistically, if you guys, depends on how many you want, obviously. Uh, you guys were gone for, like, not two days, but close to two days, and then they were able to make two. Um, if they were to mess around with that, in terms of time, you guys can just say, you know, we assist and or wait for them to finish what they're doing. Um, obviously they'll need to be paid again by that point, but y'all can just effectively wait for it to be finished. Yeah. Uh, did Jolly also say he needed more food? Uh, no, so basically the, the folk that you guys hired are Just able to, go. if he runs out of food, the people you guys hired will take care of that. He will never run out of food. Okay. Because you guys hired like a million people. That's what they're there for. Yeah, they're, they're literally I'm there to be for you guys. Try stealing the part though. I don't think I'd do it today when we're known to be in town. Up to y'all. Well, who's told to say that he knows that we're in town, guy? I mean, you guys all uh, want to buy stuff, it's so. It's the tomb's fault, obviously. No, it's definitely the fault of someone who barged in without discussing things. Casey? <laughs> Luke Hagakashi. What happened? <laughs> you ran into the store before we could uh, discuss the plan. I had shit I'm gonna buy armor. Screw your armor. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> what kind of thief are you that you don't want to th steal things? Who said I'm a thief? <laughs> your gloves. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, your gloves. That's, that's, in gloves that's in case he wants to steal stuff. <laughs> Doesn't make him a thief. <laughs> Do you see any gloves here? Nope, I don't either. We watched you buy them. <laughs> I, I, I like... use my magical sight. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Mm. And then he eats uh, jerky that Kiara has. She's like, oh, I have jerky too. And then she checks her pockets and there's not. <laughs> I check my pockets. Hey, is that mine? No, nah, I bought it from uh, Salil. Um, insight check. Go ahead. Contested. Roll deception. Are. Yeah. Deception check. 
No. Well. <laughs> Liar. You smell a bit of bullshit, Kara. You owe me turkey now. I don't know what you're talking about. You could have just asked. Asked what? To <laughs> share. I had plenty. Now I have none. For you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As reading it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I bought this from Sulu. You could ask him. Okay. <laughs> hey, Salil, did you uh, sell Kakashi any uh, turkey? I look at him from the door. Looking at Salil? Yeah. Are, are, are you trying to communicate something? I'm nodding like, yes. <laughs> uh, Alright, go ahead and roll Insight. See if you can see this unspoken exchange. Get a 22, I might. I don't think I can roll high enough. Okay, um, not that he's attempting to deceive, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll say. Okay. Uh, you feel an exchange happen, or and you quickly flash a look behind you and back to Salil, and, uh, because she's already kind of, like, looking to wall by the team, around and whatnot, but you, you feel something in the air. No, he doesn't know I'm there. He doesn't yeah. know I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you literally can't roll that high. Because <laughs> my tails are in the way. Exactly. There's, there's many to hide behind. Uh, he just kind of gives you the, the look of, like, what an odd question is. Uh, no, did not save him any jerky today. Do you believe you're all in here? Some uh -huh. questions that were made. He slips around. Kikashi slips out while he's telling them this. He, he hears Kara shouting from across the room. Is that all you... Where'd you go? Do you happen to have a scroll of find object? Uh, so, sorry, what? A so fine fine. person. Yeah, yes, yes, why? <laughs> no reason. Okay. That's all you need? All right. I'll just walk away. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> I'm never making anything for you again, Kakashi. Just you wait. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nope, it's so good. The DM can't well, find you. I literally... <laughs> I literally looked there last. I, I, I went counterclockwise and like... Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. All right, well, uh, one member down because he's hiding. <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> we leave without him. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool with leaving without him. <laughs> All right, uh, Suharto inquires as to where Kakashi is as you guys uh, begin to skedaddle. Oh, he's around. No worries. Uh, would he be joining us later? Yes. Maybe. Those are two very different answers. I, I peek around this corner and I'm like, shh. <laughs> we still right, well, can't see you. It's fine. Are, are, who, who, who are you shushing at? Suharto. Like, he could see me in the corner. Like, I, I, I motion for him to okay. see me. I don't know if they can see you. No, he's turning around. <laughs> he definitely can't see you. If you, uh, yeah, he's, he's technically facing Doro in a right, but we'll, we'll just say he, like, sensed your shush. <laughs> uh, not really sure what to think about that. He will assume you're hiding for whatever reason. All right, well, I guess if we're all ready, we can uh, head back to Shabby. You sell jerky, right? Are you choosing to stay behind, Kagashi? No, I'm going to sneak onto the thing after Okay. They... All right, uh, he readies up what he needs to ready up. Uh, you can tell that he was doing business elsewhere, uh, making trades and such, and he, he, he bought a few things. There's a few extra crates that he uh, placed on his uh, dragon wagon, and he begins to skedaddle. They hop on, and the sand skimmer begins to leave town. What do you do? I hop on the back. Are, are, are you stealthing your I way back on? I slap him off the back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do I, do you want me to reroll stealth? Uh, yes. This, this, is a, this is a new stealth situation. I mean, okay. I have advantage. Would we not see him hopping standing. in anyways? <laughs> I'm literally Probably. standing on the back with my hammer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would see him anyways, because stealth isn't exactly invisibility. It's not invisibility. Uh, if you're sitting on the back, then you physically cannot stealth this, unless you're stealthing from the side or something, but... That, that well, would, yeah. I'll go from the side, then. Because you see it? Okay. Uh, Dora and Kiara, you guys just not... I, I walk outside of his vision vision to get onto the, the thing. Okay. Uh, or roll me a perception with advantage because you are paying attention. I mean, he's going from a different angle, so he's he's not jumping in the back. 
Wow, that's terrible. Damn. Sometimes like the dice be like that. All right. Uh, I'm since, not taking it very seriously, apparently. No. Since, since you guys are watching the uh, the back of the uh, skimmer, uh, Kakashi sees that and is able to kind of wheeze his way onto the side, um, al almost from the, the, the front end, which was very unexpected. And he's just kind of on the skimmer with you guys. I bought some jerky from Saharto and uh, put it on uh, Kakashi's tab. <laughs> Gave it to Karen. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Just wait until I steal it back. It, are, are I'm you, gonna eat it right now. Eat it constantly. Are you making yourself known, Kakashi, or are you hiding on the uh, skimmer? Oh no, I'm still I'm still on the side. Oh, you're on the, okay. I make sure to be very loud to Saharto when I buy, buy it, so if he's on the on the cart, he will hear it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a little dirty, and it does take a, a hot second to get back, but you guys do indeed uh, arrive back at uh, Shabby, all of you being relatively clean, unfortunately. Uh, not so much for our boy, seeing as he's on the outside, it. and there's dirt everywhere. The sand, it's fine. It's, it's just sand. It, yeah, it it's only, only gets everywhere. Of course, and gets everywhere. It's, it only gets everywhere. I'm literally imagining him ha hanging below the cart. Sand just hitting me in the face the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Catching a rock. <laughs> oh. It's okay though. It's worth it's worth it for the memes. All right, and uh, question: Since we're in that weird, fun middle loading state, um, where precisely do you guys wish to go next? The sun is. is my... I don't even know where it is. Uh, it's not on this map. You guys are technically on oh. the tavern. Yeah, I, I realized that after I loaded it, and didn't want to <laughs> load that one and drag you guys over the place. Technically, my, uh... you guys have access to all these maps. But when we arrive, I, I get off. I'm like, hey, guys. Just all casually? Yeah. Okay. I will humph and ignore him. I right, think the, everyone ignores him. The, the, the lizard is <laughs> parked. Uh, Suharto and Dancing Lance begin to kind of unpack certain things and uh, restock. And Suharto kind of gives you a wave. Gosh, he's really not sure what's going on in the situation. He's quite confused. <laughs> you know what? I, I might as well pay off uh, Suharto now. Sure. Uh, 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 how much more was that? Uh, 500. Okay, sure. Go ahead and do that, and we can just honestly delete that bad boy. So what are we going to do? Are we just waiting for the the weird charm potions to be finished? It's up to all y'all? I guess. Probably. Nothing else we can do right now. I mean, yeah, we could I... send the, the chain demon into the cave, I guess. Oh, yeah, we can do that True. to make sure everything's fine. And possibly kill it. Or we could send and out... Uh, not kill it? What's our face? Guys. To try to find the Kutra cave. Uh, we can send Stitch to go look. Yeah, basically Let's... scout ahead, see if she knows it, if she can find it. So each, uh, each we know, person we know has... the general direction, so... Yeah, e each person has a thing they're working on, so if you're going to change like what they're working on, they very much can do that. Uh, on that note, though, when you guys do return, uh, let me go ahead and just bring her there. Uh, we'll just say, since all your guys' tokens are inside the tavern, I'll just move her to the tavern. Uh, upon coming back to the um, the location, uh, Mr. Doro, as uh, Tish walks up to you and kind of gives you a wave. Oh, hello. She smiles and starts rummaging in her pocket. I was out scouting today, and I uh, found something. How oh, did you find the the boar in the sand. She holds out a little ring and it's like making pig noises. It's like <laughs> it's it, it's kind of just been doing it the entire time. I'll turn it off. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Oh, is there like just a I like twist it a little bit and it turns off? Uh, Kiara, how do you turn it off? It is your ring. I don't know. I'm assuming I would know because she gave it to me. Yeah, that works. Like just, it, it, You twist it? Tw a little like twist. twist the twist the top of it and it turns right. off. You give the ring a twist and the uh, pig grunting noises cease and she kind of nods and goes, I wish I knew that. It, it makes a final. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for finding it. And no problem. I won't ask why you had it, but why it was doing that, but you know. It's fine. I'll <laughs> probably lose it again. Wow, please don't. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess what is the, yeah, you know, what's the plan? I'm I'm still looking for food and such for you guys. I still have that on lockdown. Uh, anything else I can help with? 
Yeah, we were wondering if you happen to know where a Kuthric cave might be. I've seen a few while I've been uh, adventuring around. Uh, why? Uh, we want to take my uh, my my pet here, and I will I will pat my bag and go destroy it. Mm, she can't think for a second. Maintenance. Uh, what do you mean by that precisely? Well, we asked for help to protect the town because we've been attacked by Kuthrix and her and their queen. So, mm. oh, you're thinking? Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, interesting. Maybe to clear them out before they attack again. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I can keep a lookout for them if you want. And I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen, you know, some of their primary caves. They're kind of hard to miss. But yeah. Yes. Yeah, that works. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out for you guys then. All right, so while she is looking around, she will be all, yeah, uh, scouting for Kubrick Caves. Boop. And as you guys uh, mentioned that, uh, Drun is in the room and he kind of turns around and goes, hmm. do you mean those small, tiny little... Uh, strange clawed creatures. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine them being much of a problem for you all. Uh, they weren't, but there were a shit ton of them. I mean, couldn't you just sort of roll over them? They smell the fit in your palm. I can't see them being an actual issue. The queen well, was. It's more so the bigger ones, yeah. Uh, I mean... Find bigger. The largest one I've seen is about the size of a small dog. Wasn't it? How like, big was the queen? Like six Wasn't times that size? Yeah. The, the, uh, so the queen was huge. The smaller ones were not that small. They were about the size of a small dog. Uh, small, small, a, a medium-sized dog. The, so the the smallest ones were like a medium-sized dog. The biggest ones were like a small horse. About oh. the size of the table. Uh, yeah. About about that. It, well, yeah. About that. I don't know what. Uh, Thick you've seen, but they're definitely much bigger than that normally. And the queen is probably about six or seven times the normal size. He seems somewhat taken aback by that, and he's thinking to himself, and goes, mm, You'll have to show me these beasts. They were more of a nuisance back in my day, but, well, they might serve as a form of challenge now. Interesting. Gotten larger in the centuries? That's interesting. Yeah, it's I wonder if there are other uh, water sources around that naturally popped up, like our man-made one here. Oh, you were talking about... Yes, I, I actually spoke with the uh, mayor regarding this situation. Unfortunately, I can't really help too much with that, but it is definitely interesting. Hmm. Little alarming, to be honest, but all right. <laughs> uh... Somewhat, yes. He, well, wasn't willing to divulge all of the information that I asked, but uh, all this. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> I'm sure we can squeeze it out of him. <laughs> we just need to make him feel a bit more guilty. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like the way you think. Yeah. Am I? If he's really trying, he's really well. Unintentionally resurrecting the big bad monster that uh, Kartikov, whatever the hell to call, supposedly killed. That might be uh, enough of a reason to have him divulge the info. Hmm. It's definitely yeah. something we can look into. Yes, yes. But first, we would need to find the source, though. Uh, of course. The, the place where he made the room, basically. Well. I'll be honest, I'm mostly lost in this new world. Things have changed and moved. Well, obviously, yes. everyone I know is dead. So, I'll help to the best of my abilities, but... Yes. Was that uh, slightly ominous storm in the, in the distance, uh, did it also exist back then? The desert is quite ominous, we'll put it that way, yes. Well, How about a giant then. scorpion? Was that around back then? Uh, there were many large creatures, to my knowledge, but giant scorpion, I mean, yes, they're kind of everywhere. Giant scorpion that charms its targets? No. 
They also uh, stab and Sandra. paralyze and then consume their insides. After they melt you down, of course. But no. Uh, no charming. Hmm. Well, we're nearly ready to go uh, kill a giant scorpion that charms a man stabs and I'm sure probably melts his targets. One would assume that would be the case, yes. He's very intelligent. Would you like to join? <laughs> if you're opening your little party to me, I would love to join. We would love the help. He was a little scary, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> he smiles widely at that. Wanted to, uh... Excellent. Go exercise soon. Exercise? Yeah, Drew did say he wanted to go exercise a bit more. Oh, yeah. All right, he's, he seems uh, relatively eager to join you all. He's not really sure entirely what you're talking about, but kill something? Yeah, sure, why not? No. I mean, I guess I'll get back to that when we're actually ready, then. Yeah, sure. He just, he just basically let you guys know. When you are ready, let him know he'll be around town attempting to acclimate to his surroundings. And in the meantime, I'm just changing my tokens when I'm in Florida, Florida. I'm going. Uh, Tish uh, essentially takes her orders, and uh, she will head out and pretty much... Yes? Let's invite Hisimine, too. She likes to blow things up, right? I think Noth is the one that likes to blow things up. I think they both like no, to blow things up. They both, like they both do, yeah. Hers, hers is a less controlled, we'll say. Yeah. All right, so... No, it, it, Noth is the kind of guy that blows things up and then writes it up. As it means, he just claps and goes and giggles. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> you you want to know uh, how it exploded and how to do so again. Uh, maybe how to make the explosion bigger. She just goes, cool, big boom. <laughs> She's literally Megaman. Pretty much. Oh, God. Except probably has more than one explosion per day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. One, one would hope. No, she just... I used to plosion. She just uses all her spell slots in the one spell slot. <laughs> if Megaman played D&D, &D, her wish would be a ninth level explosion spell. Precisely. I, now I feel like watching that anime again. We haven't seen it in forever. It's not very long. We watch it again. Is there a season two yet? It's also we're, a movie. Yeah, three, I think. We already whatever. watched season three now. There, there's a movie, but there's not a season three. And we the haven't the seen the movie yet, right? Really so weird. Yeah. The show's pretty weird, so. Megumin's mom pretty much started trying to set her up with Kazuma. Nice. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Excellent. <Okay. laughs> we'll have to watch that again then. Because of course yeah. she does. Obviously. Like her other options. And Aqua also does the does something useful for the first time in forever. I don't believe you. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, she pulls up Kazuma's pants. Oh. Oh my. That's it. <laughs> That's, it. <laughs> That's all I got, sorry. That's the most useful thing she's ever done. True. Alrighty, so in terms of what we are doing uh next, what is our plan? to be done and then uh, go murder yeah Scorpion. that sounds yeah. good i mean i guess if in the meantime we find the kutra cave we can do that but okay it depends whichever happens first i guess sounds good all righty so let's figure some things out i'll be doing that but we also still need to go to a you want to village as one of these days which uh, I do technically have prepared, if you wish. Oh, by the way, can I... If we're oh, waiting, so... I'd, I'd like to buckle down on my uh, my UNT learning. Uh, yeah, so we can say one more standard day uh, passes by. So go ahead and... Uh, oh, wow. Nice. Uh, where's my token, lover face? You're hmm. not on the right map, babe. <laughs> uh, like it, which map are we on? The next one. Where everybody is. There you go. I made literally zero progress. That is... <laughs> This how it would be sometimes. Like how it would be sometimes. Uh, go ahead and roll one more, though. How many times do I get to roll? Just once? Uh, two. 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 Uh, Ooh. my knowledge is a quarter of the way there. Sorry, a fifth of the way there. A fifth. Yes. I am at 76, uh, 7%. Excellent. I All right, and... My plants. There you go. While you are doing this, for it... Uh, you feel as you're reading through the runes and uh, tending to your weapon and such, it speaks out to you. And... Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, it copy-pasted Speak to me. Ah, okay, I hate that. 
Ah, uh, I'm sad. Okay. Anyway, um, he sort of inquires again as to uh, what you are doing as you're uh, tinkering with your runes and looking into uh, how they can be for you. I mean, anything specific what I'm doing or? Considering his clan was pretty much the opposite of this, he's sort of watching, trying to figure out, like, he's trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Like, wh 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 why this not training, basically. This uh, rune magic is uh, honestly it's strange. It has existed for well, ages, since forever. Yet for whatever reason, the knowledge of it seems to go uh, go and come, and it grows stronger and weaker over time. It's it's weird. Part of the knowledge is uh, learning about your environment. Much like fighting. Okay. It is... Hmm. It's not so much about... Controlling your... The nature around you, like magic is. It's more about... Using it for your advantage, basically. Like you would use a... Well... A sword to, to, to gain more reach. He thinks about this... And you feel as if he understands something and responds you know, with. From a, a base, I'm not a magical, very adept at it, you know. I've never been great at it. I straight up, well, <laughs> he'll kind of chuckle to himself. The first time I tried to cast it, I pretty much uh, burned down the house, let's say. Uh, he so he, he uh, gives a laugh at that. But this. Uh, these runes, they give you a form of control that you would never have otherwise. They might be simple, but at the same time, they are very, well, easy to use. He feels like he understands you a bit more. They and become parts of you. While you're, while you're tinkering uh, with your runes, you do feel your weapon offers you a, a, a little more in, in ways to protect your friends. Uh, just a little, a little something extra. And you feel um, almost as if he's offering you some of his power. It's, it's not the most he can offer, but it's a start. And as I mentioned before, he, he can feel the way that you use magic, the way that you try to take, you know, combat, run in first, uh, but just trying to, like, assist your friends and whatnot. Uh, so he wants to offer his aid in that, effectively. So, for now, I'll let you choose between basically one of these. Um, as you effectively feel this this question, he's 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 like uh, essentially offering his uh, experience uh, to you uh, in a strange way, and and you and you feel uh, that you can develop, uh, delve into one of them, basically. So he'll offer you some form of runic aid or protection. And so mechanically what these will do is you as a bonus action, uh, you can grant an Aegis to an allied creature that you can see within 60 feet of you. It's a dim gray aura of stone runic magic that will protect the target. Um, both of these effects are start the same, but do two different things. So it's up to you. And like I said, they'll change over time and you can obviously eventually have both just up to you. Uh, so the first one is any, any bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage the target would take is reduced by your proficiency bonus until the start of your next turn. Uh, and that's not, it doesn't like wear off. It doesn't take one hit any, period. So if someone were to walk up to, let's say, Kakashi and hit him with a bludgeoning weapon like four times, each hit would be reduced by your cushion's bonus. And then the other one is same deal, except the target will add your proficiency bonus to any saving throws until the start of your turn. That's potent. Yeah, so you can technically get both, but for now, which one would you prefer? Hmm. I think the saves are probably for the the better option these days. Okay. Yeah. 
any right. uh, opinions from the rest of the group? Uh, so this is effectively... It's happening in your head, obviously. Um, yeah. But... I mean, out of character, I mean, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care. Either yeah, one works. Well. You're welcome, bro. It's up to you. Then I'll go for the, the saves, I guess. Alrighty. I will add it to the description of the weapon. It might be a lot. Eh, not so bad. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, these yeah. random spaces. Why did it do that? That's <laughs> so annoying to look at. There we go. Alright, you don't technically need to roll anything, as it will just be currently three. So let me bonus. Three. Alright, so that's a bonus. Three. There we go. Alright, so basically, uh, there's no really way to add this effectively. So whenever he wants. Robert will point at one of you guys in combat, and as a bonus action, for basically the entire round, you guys get a plus three to all of your saving throws. Yeah, I think that's useful. Nice. Pretty damn good. Alrighty. They're ready. You feel more in tune with your weapon. You feel stronger. And I'm going to roll for them tinkering with the potions now. Good. Up to do it again. Aha! I can! Hell yeah. Can we, can we help them? Uh, you guys are doing your off. Uh, technically, Doro could help, but you don't really have any. Yeah. Even you, you don't really mess with this, <laughs> so you can, uh, technically, if you want. But help could also lead to hindrance. So it's up to you. Uh, what would I have to roll? Uh, hmm. That's a great question. You use underwear? If you ask nicely, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Anything important? I think, yes, one more important thing. And then we will go ahead and end the session. And then we'll go get sushi, because sushi's great, and I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Um, we'll say they're making progress, but through the day, you guys are outside, you're walking about, and as you're walking about, I won't bother grabbing him. You do notice that, as I mentioned before, uh, Shadows has not been here for a while. The monk. And I say I won't grab him, then I go ahead and grab him, because that's how I do, apparently. There nice. Goes. Shadows in the wind. There's that point. He you dies. haven't no. noticed? I will definitely ask, then. You have noticed. Uh, you guys were gone, obviously, and now that you're back, notice that he's just not here for some odd reason. That's odd. Oh, no. Half his body returns. Uh, no, his full body does return. Damn. You guys actually see him coming from the distance. He is walking through the desert, which normally isn't really the best idea. Uh, you guys see that there's somewhat of a storm, a dust storm going, so it's a little hard to make out his entire figure. Uh, but his hair blowing in the wind, uh, his belt also uh, whipping about. Uh, you see his figure, arms, legs, everything intact, uh, except you see something dragging behind him. And as he gets closer and closer to the town of Shabi, he sort of uh, flexes and kind of uh, then throws it in front of him sort of off to uh, the side, not directly in front of the city. Uh, he brings it to you guys because you can see you watching him, and he nods down at this strange figure in front of him. And looking at what you can see in front of you is a, is this just odd amalgamation of it's not humanoid in any way, shape, or form. It's like a large, black tentacled... Uh, they're not tentacles. They're just like tendrils coming off of it. It is very clearly dead, uh, it's covered in sand. You can tell this creature was like an inky, black, sort of wet, wet-looking entity. Um, there's definitely, it's definitely a, a creature of magic, Kiara. Whatever was emanating from it, though, is long gone. This thing is dead. Uh, you, you can see whether it was seeping naturally or shadows just punched the living shit out of it. There's like a hole in it, probably where he gave it the fist. And you can see his hands are covered in this strange black icor, and his feet are as well. <sighs> Where did you find this thing? I was out adventuring, as you asked me. And I ran into these. I'm not sure what they are, but... These as in multiple? He solemnly nods to you. I was able to bring one back before they overtook me. Are they... Were they strong or just numerous? There were quite a few of them. I was able to dispatch of them rather quickly, but I decided it would be best not to stick around. I've not seen this type of creature before. Uh, what are you exactly investigating, Kurt? 
Um, the makeup of the body, basically. Is there anything identifiable? The... Hmm, let's see. Um, does it effect... remind me of anything? It does not. It's very difficult to make out what this thing is. Unfortunately, you probably need to clean it. Um, it, it so for you guys, basically imagine it's like a black ball. It just has tendrils like coming off of it. If it had eyes or mouth or anything, they're all closed. This thing is like covered in sand though, because he's been dragging it through the desert. So until it's cleaned, it's very difficult to make out specifics on it. Uh, maybe once it's cleaned, you guys can maybe like pick through it and whatnot. But for now, he looks he looks tired. Like you can tell, Shadows has been in the desert for, for quite some time. I can't remember. Is he native to the desert to this area or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. All right. So then so he he he's a, he, he's a survivor. That's probably why he was gone for so long. But he does look tired. Um, I'll pat him on the shoulder. Thanks for bringing it back. Why don't you go take a rest? What the, what direction did they come from? He uh, thinks for a moment and points uh, sort of like, like a southeast direction from this town. I'm not sure if there are more, but well, I took out what I could. I brought this back, assuming we could do something with it. I am tired. We'll rest now. Uh, thank you all. Yes. As he heads off to his room, he leaves you guys with this strange alien creature not seen before. And with that, we shall pause today's session. Dun 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 dun!